Does Discord work? Hello, uh, you're pretty, pretty uh, low. Yeah, not, you're now at 200%. Yeah, your voice is, your volume is very low. No idea. Ah, oh, wait, wait, wait. I'll try that. Say something. Say something again. Uh, I tried using the <clears throat> uh, what's it called the 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 dial on my on my headset, but that wasn't it. Yeah, your sounds. Um. Yeah, Discord is at a hundred percent. My PC volume is at one hundred percent too. This is definitely on your end. Sure. Yeah, much better. Much better. Say something again. Mm, no, no, it isn't again. Nope. Mm -hmm. uh, for a short amount of time, you have been quite loud. But it was just a second or so, or maybe two. Oh man, those mic issues, I hate that. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah. Hello, is it better? Slightly. And what about now? What about now? Now it's now much it's better, good. right? Is yeah, it good? much better. Okay, yeah, it's good. people in chat, how is the sound? Hello? How is the sound for you guys? In chat, is it good? Oh, they are not answering. I'm not <coughs> <coughs> okay, so let's uh, get into to it soon then now they can hear us anyway I, I hope so it's good they say yeah that's good all right great okay so the stream starts in 22 seconds thanks masoka <laughs> yeah masuka i haven't seen you in here maybe you've been here before i'm not sure welcome if you haven't been here and welcome back if you've been here before Oh, and the countdown is ready, so let's get in here and see what we have for you today. We have actually wonderful players here. Uh, the only player I don't know about is the first one in, in Team Ash, it's Hit Em Up. Do you know anything about Hit Em Up? No, I don't know anything about Hit Em Up, but okay. I think we know, of course, Quark, we know Dreamer. Yeah, and Ox Oxer. Oxer. Yeah. And before we start, I have... Jobo. Yeah, and before we start, I have a thing about Oxerg that I want to, oh, okay. to tell you guys about. The thing is that Oxerg will be uh, on our um, show match. He will be in the next show match, actually. Oh, cool. Yeah, he will play against uh, against Red R Redley. Ah, nice, nice. Yeah? I want to see Redley play yeah. nukes anyway so <laughs> yeah let's see if how many nukes it will be then uh, because it's uh, uh, it's versus Octa 
so it's uh, TVC, but I hope we will see some nukes. <laughs> it's uh, best of nine, so. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to see at least some nukes. <laughs> and to be honest, they're pretty strong. Why would you irradiate all those lurkers? Yeah, yeah when you, you can blow them up. Blow them up with a nuke? Yeah, yeah. I, I've seen I mean, some people uh, try to do shit like that, and I'm not sure if they work all the time, but it's it's nice. Nah, probably try. not. Yeah. Okay, so uh, welcome everyone in, in chat, and uh, maybe we should just uh, get into our first game for the evening. Uh, as we saw, the first game will be the very, very strong player. I think he is uh, one of the best foreigners. I uh, not think he is one oh, of the best definitely. foreigners in, in the world. It's he and Bonneth are maybe battling on on first place. I'm not, I'm not uh, sure that we can see any other race uh, being uh, even close to them. Actually, are you coming? Oh yeah, yeah, I guess so. <clears throat> Invalid password. Oh. Uh, you might have to start restart StarCraft. I'll do the same. Okay. That fixes it sometimes. Yeah, let's do that. Or else I, I I will make without password. I've seen that there have been some some really weird shit going on with that. I'm not sure why. I think it's some kind of server issue from Blizzard side because yeah. the servers are working really well, and then there aren't any ghost games or ghost lobbies in the join screen, and also you don't get. Uh, the invalid password bug. I made a public game now so you can just join. Without password. <laughs> Alright. Oh, there we go. Let's go. Yeah. So no unwelcome guest will get in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first game is on Eclipse. And it will be The Wolf versus Hit 'em Up. So it will be a. Uh, PVT, and I heard a lot of Terrans complain about PVT on this map. Uh, I wonder why, because I think it's actually quite a nice Terran map. Oh, you think uh, because, so? Because, yes, the third base can be t c taken quite easily, and if you put turrets on the third, and turrets uh, on the fringe of your natural, you're pretty safe against recalls. And you have a lot of jokes and high grounds that you can take as Terran, which yeah. is Siege up, and it's really hard to break the Terran player when you're a Protoss. I think what, what people are, uh, what Terrans don't like about it is that they have the, uh, to take the third, of course they can, they can uh, try to hold it, but it's so easy to attack in, in many places and, and they say also that Carriers is too good on this map. Carriers is very strong. I think you have to factor that in. I think you should open up with an anti-carrier build when you're yeah. Terran here. It's it's like you're playing on uh, what is it? New Bloody Ridge or something? Yeah. yeah. Also very very notoriously good carrier map but a good Terran player will almost always play an anti-carrier build on it to be ready to hit the timing. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people do like 2-1 uh, 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 hits on, on this map. They try to hit the 2-1. Two, two oh, we see a gas deal here. And we actually see oh, a pylon outside uh, the main of the wall, but we don't see a follow-up with uh, a quick gate or anything. Uh, it's, it's just a 12, 12 nexus into... Oh, it's a 13 nexus even. The, yeah, because he stole, the, he stole the gas, so he needed to deal... Oh! No, What's... it's a 13 <laughs> gateway. 13 what? gateway with a guest. Oh, this is weird. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, this is some reactionary play here because yeah. he delayed that barracks from coming down. So that barracks is actually very late because it's a 13. No, it wasn't a 13 barracks, but it was a 12 and something barracks. And then he yeah, still It was a normal build still. from Terran. And, uh, oh, but look at this. Second barracks is is coming from Terran. This is this interesting. Is oh. uh, it should work though. I think this is a losing strategy. You for think so? Yes. It's cheesy. I, I, it I'm can't not work. sure. 
because and, of, and of how fast the huge. yeah, but how fast the Nexus got here. He he is uh, making a Nexus and a, a really late gateway, so this can actually pay off. And we see even can a, pay off. And now we see one more barracks, uh, but the scouted. problem is that he's scouting it with the gas. It's in range. Ah, uh, that's painful, but it's uh, but it's gonna finish at least. Yeah. But it doesn't know uh, about. Yes, so he's gonna get away. Oh, but look at this! Look at this! Oh shit! Look at this! He scouts it. Yeah, I told you. I told you he's scouting it. Yeah. Yeah. But... Oh, and now we see so many SCVs. And uh, yeah, I think he should pull ring. four more SCVs because if he. If he wants to produce out of two barracks continuously, I think he only Three needs barracks. like four. Yeah. Then I would ha would uh, mine with six SCVs. Yeah, but the, so oh, you think uh, six SCVs is enough? Yes. But he needs six to he needs enough. to take care of this uh, cannon as well. Uh, oh, if the cannon goes up, it's I over. think this is over. If the cannon goes up, it's over. Yeah, this is over. There's too that is, many sea lots. Cannon is up. That it's is, by the way, is. why you don't do weird bio rushes like this. Because a single cannon will just shred those marines and yeah, ouch. you need... How many marines do you need? I don't Unstip know. marines to, to kill... But if you, a, look at, if you looked at a, the stream last cannon. week, uh, it's like uh, some... <laughs> Some bio builds from Terror U. Two games in a row, he made 10 uh, 10 uh, racks in the middle. It was crazy. I didn't see that. I was. Yeah, I was yeah, yeah. You, you were studying. <laughs> but that was amazing. I must say. Yeah, since like a fun. fun uh, oh, this is interesting. Hear them up, just switch rays here. In the next oh, game. did he? Yeah, I'm going nice. to rush. He just goes in for a, 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 the next build here. So, a, a next, uh, it's on gold rush, and he just uh, jumps in to, to take the. Um, just to play Serg on, on gold rush instead of. Alright, uh, you can start. Yeah, two sec. Now, uh, yeah, yeah, let's go. It's, it's interesting. Can you can you race a pick in in BBCL? I think so. I mean, even if it would have would have been against the rules, I it doesn't matter if the world doesn't claim it's an yeah, mistake. Yeah, no, I think I think the world so, doesn't care at all. Yeah, I don't think. But I'm cares. not. I think in BBCL, uh, we don't really know the people we're gonna play, so. Before in beforehand, so I think you can pick whatever race you want to. <clears throat> okay, so we have the Magenta Protoss in the uh, nine o'clock, and at the twelve o'clock we have the Red Hit 'em Up in playing Sir in this game. Actually, <clears throat> I guess he's going to cheese him, and he might f he might figure oh if I'm playing Sir, I might have better chances cheesing him. But, because yeah. Hurricanes are very strong, definitely stronger than the Marines. No nine pool anyway. It's a it's a normal Overlord timing. And, yeah. But we see the one that's are uh, playing a bit cheesy. Maybe the Walt playing an in-game gate uh, in uh, door gateway. Oh yeah, I didn't comment on that actually. Yeah. I've seen more this and more Protoss is going, going this strategy actually, with the in game. It's, it's uh, not super bad. I mean, <laughs> it's also not super good, but it's very tricky for the Zerg. The Zerg needs to know a lot of theory to review some of the openings that Protoss can do. The problem is that sometimes they can go. If, if you don't scout them, they can go two gay in base. They can go, and you can't see it actually, or they can go for. One gate uh, gas openings. Yeah, one gate gas. They can go for fast reaver or fast DT or fast 
yeah, they have so many well, options in there, and it's, if you can't get in there and scout, I think it's really hard to, to figure out what they actually are doing. Okay, 12 out Tampool. This is working out nicely if we hit him up now. Yeah. So, uh, when it comes to Protoss 1 base builds, you usually go into a C core or CZ core, and then uh, you, you scout and want to figure out what you're doing. That's uh, what, not what the Walt is doing anyway. The Walt is doing, I have no idea. What it... uh, it's gonna do an Nexus. Yeah. But uh, that's really scary. Can't he just ling him? Uh, well, the Nexus is on the semi island base. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, he's yeah, taking. He oh, it. yeah, I see, I see. And that that's a bit cheesy. But can't he ling him uh, anyway? Well, he's scouting and there is not pool ready yet. And he's gonna make those links now. He's, he sees it now. Yeah. All those are eggs morph at the same time, so those are all links. Because there's no delay, he sees that third hatchery, so he knows it's not is not going to be an all-in most likely. Also, he can build a shield battery here. He has another cell on the on the ready. He's making a third cell. He's pulling the one cell back, so he can block up. What can actually ramp. happen here is he can take his overlord down to the minerals and put four drones with this, and just ling him. Yeah, that would actually work if he were to do it. Yeah, but if he, it looks like he doesn't want to. He's playing it safe. The the info is just missing, you know. Yeah, I think he's. But uh, I'm not it, sure why he took the the overload away that quickly because he so, he can actually go when he sees the cybernetics will finish. He doesn't need to to stay outside with the. Uh, oh, this is Cybercore into Forge. This yeah. is an interesting build. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is and something very else. good for this map, by the way. Very, yeah. very good. Okay, thank you for the follow, Hatha. Thanks a lot. Oh wow, and he's he's still scouting the Zerg. Yeah, very good. I mean, I hit him up. Really needed to get in there and stay in as long as possible. He needs to sack that Overlord. And now he scouts the Hydrogen. So he sees that yeah. there will come Hydras here, and I think the best for for hit him up now is maybe to to fake the the Hydra push and not go all in with it. But this is interesting. He's still making the Stargate even when he sees that is free hedge Hydra. Uh, I think he just doesn't want to cancel it. And Zerg is so scary if you're playing one base because you're so brittle. But he's not, playing, much he's not playing the time. normal one base because you have the semi island one. Yeah, still, but it's still in one base opening. So yeah. your economy is going to be a lot weaker than it's supposed to be. Oh, but look at this control. This is some really good value, by the way. This is insane. Yeah. Well, that base was. Oh no, he's losing everything here, the map. I'm not sure what happened with his control here. Well, it the base was, location wasn't it, optimal. It was, yeah, but Slide. it was. He lost two drones. He lost eight Zerglings against three Zealots. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think that's too. He should much. have never engaged with eight Zerglings. No. Basically, and, and, and until and, unless you have twelve links against eight Zerglings, you shouldn't engage. His economic is in shambles here. We see nineteen drones against yeah, thirty-five. Yeah, uh, it's pretty much over now because he look can't at get that. In here. Yeah. Look at that. Protoss is on 35 workers. Yeah. Uh, there's a Corsair on the way, so he's safe against Mulelisks, and he's getting a get infinite scouting information. And soon we have the and Reaver. And Reaver are gonna pop out soon. Oh wow, he's even gonna go shuttle before Reaver. Yeah. If he's he... playing very confident here, our uh, Protoss player. Yeah. I wonder if he had been a little bit more aggressive if he actually could have sniped that cannon and slipped past. I think he should have pulled the trigger because it was his best chance to win it. Yeah. Because this Corsair is going to find some value, it's very likely that he's going to find another Overlord to kill. He scouts good anyway. And then... There is nothing at home to defend the Overlords. Okay, there's a Hydra now, great. Yeah. 
and he's but not over committing to the Serg is not over committing with the with the hydros here he's making uh, going into to five hatch instead yeah Serg uh, basically wants to contain him but what it, it actually looks like is... yeah it looks like dewalt is playing with him a bit him making free robotics he's playing this as an island map he doesn't take this really seriously, I guess. Uh, well, third robotics is a bit weird, but he <laughs> didn't have to build any corsairs because he's skipping, skipping the the lair. Yeah. Uh, not the lair, sorry, the spire. So you can afford a third robotics, I suppose. Yeah, he's has good economics. So he's on forty-one like... probes, so he's yeah. not really having a problem with economics. And he's not using the gates a lot, so here we'll see the first drop coming in. Oh, Honestly, really, really over. good, uh, yeah, really good polo out here from Serg, but there is no this units is to, to help it anyway. Yeah. Now we see the hydros. Actually, a really good thing against this strategy when you see reavers, it's go for the burrow as fast as you can. Yeah, but he needed to go for that sooner, I think. Yeah, but right now it's still good because every time, every time they drop, instead of pulling the the drones, you just uh, uh, get them into the ground and, and you you don't lose any of them. So I okay, think there's is there a speed on the shuttle? Yes, there is, and there's a second shuttle with two more reavers. Yeah, coming. Here. And look, he doesn't even have to go go for corsairs because he. Because he knows there is no no spire. Yeah, but and he didn't lose a lot of. He didn't lose almost anything. He just lose the pool here. Oh, but this will be interesting because now oh, he's. Crushing. Yeah, he needs to rebuild it to to use the sunken here. Let's see. Now we're using the yeah. high ground to to go in with two more reavers. We don't oh, see look. the extra reaver damage on the scarabs yet. Oh. But it will come. This is a very good attack here. Oh, oh, and one more drop cool. upstairs as well. Oh my god, and now he's gonna get those. Oh, great value, great value. 14 kills on these two reavers. Oh, but he lost uh, he lost one reaver and the shuttle, that point. and he lost the matter. second reaver. True. It's, he, he's gonna take another base, and the Zerg is playing this uh, in an aggressive five hatch, or is in a, yeah, it's six even a six hatch, hatch hydro style, hydro style, but there isn't any base to attack, you know. Also, you don't want to attack against Rios, really. So, I think he has to drop this. If he if he doesn't go into drop, he basically is gonna get harassed all game long. And we see here killing all the hydras on the twelve o'clock. That's really, really good here for for Dewalt. Actually, he's just yes getting more and more damage done here. This is just crushing. This and now he's taking crushing. a third as well. One more. One more uh, island. Oh, they killed each other there. Very nice. Yeah, that. And that's one more, happened. one more attack here on the third. But the scarab didn't connect there. But now we can just go into the 12 o'clock again. And there's a lot of drones just trying to to move. Oh, oh. he killed one really good scarab there. And the reavers are still trying. To, uh, not trying. They are making a lot of damage here. If you're Zerg, don't skimp on the spire. No, but the problem was that he made the, the three hatch hydra instead trying to bust him. And that delayed his lair a really big time. And now we see the third getting attacked again. Oh, this is too much damage. This is GG. I'm yeah, calling it. This it's is GG over. for a long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But now it's really over. Oh. This is painful to see as a Zerg player, I must say. I think it's quite cathartic, to be honest. Yeah. 
Now For I want to see display, some. At least. Now I want to see some scouts. Oh come on! <laughs> you think that's Why bad, man? No, but just just mass only reavers and shuttles. Yeah, but it's point. it's wonderful to make them. They are a wonderful unit, and they are not only appreciated. They are not appreciated by you, you Protoss players. That's not true. I, I love playing <laughs> scouts against Zerg. When when you go in with eleven speed scouts, that's the most beautiful thing when you see them killing uh, everything. Oh, so many reavers here! Six reavers yeah, coming out. Yeah, as I say, this. as I say, no, no need to go for scouts. Just oh. go into mass reavers and mass shuttles. Yeah, I know you don't need the scouts, but they are beautiful. That was my point. Oh, look at this! How fast they kill stuff. Yeah. Oh, absolutely wow, oh, yeah. Hit them up with assault. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think maybe that was... DeWalt was like, after the first game, he was sure that he was a much better player than this one, and he was like, let's go for a build that... Uh, really <laughs> embarrassing him, maybe, I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm not sure why I hit him up. Is he a Zerg player maybe. or a Terran player? DeWalt played a beautiful game with a beautiful strategy, and just punished... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. He punished him big time, but I'm not yes. sure that that would have been working real good if if he played a a better uh, a better player. Uh, a better player would have not lost that many hydralisks. They would have taken another third base, I think. Yeah, true, true. So I think it was. And, uh... and I think they would have sniffed out that he what he's doing with the overlord. So it's like. A lot of mistakes leading up to the position that he found himself in later. Um, yeah, but it's not. Uh, it's not like really shocking that the Wolf won uh, the first game. Oh. Mind players say that the Wolf was an asshole. <laughs> nah. I think that's harsh, man. Do you really think that? No mind flayer. I I think you are a bit too harsh there, mind flow. But I really that, like you, so. Honestly, Let's... I think that is just what Protoss has to do if they go, if Protoss goes for Corsair Reavers and there is no no spire, you just go full on into uh, Reaver drops and stay safe. Especially on a map like this where it can't be broken. True. It's like. Zerg cannot really attack him that that easily. Yeah, it's really hard to attack him, especially when he goes for for that strategy that he went for. Yeah, especially if you don't have a spire because you forfeit every air control and you cannot scout because your overlords get gonna get picked off. Yeah. It's like you have to have a spire against the uh, Corsair Reaver. Okay, now they I are. Yeah. I, I think it's not Mind Flayer. I think you are a bit wrong here. I, I know, I see your point, and I think he, he did the strategy because he knows that it was a sure win. May, uh, the, the thing is that that build is a bit safer than making like a normal normal build, and, and you, you need to deal with the Hydro Bust. Now he know he didn't need to deal with the Hydro Bust, and it was a sure win because he's a better player. So, so I, I see your point then, but I don't think it was like a bad man a thing okay so <laughs> let's get into to our next game here and uh, quark please no no uh, um. i cannot join what unable to join game but okay let's try again already launched yeah. the game or started it let's try again now quark no uh, no like uh, what do you call it when you tell him in beforehand. No Go spoilers. Yes, yeah, spoilers was the word I was looking for. Oh, no thanks for the follow, Quark. Yeah. Okay, so let's get into the next game. It's Vadi, the Swedish player, versus Quark. And we can see the Quark are from the UK. And Quark will play in the lovely color of magenta. 
in the top right corner and in the bottom left corner this is ugly white body is the ugly white yeah I've, I've learned last time <laughs> yeah ugly <laughs> white yeah yeah what uh, would you call it gray is the gray yeah it's sort of a grayish white yeah I, I, I refer to it falsely as a broken white but broken white yeah yeah, but it's actually called off white in English. Off white, okay. Off white. I like yeah. I like ugly white. Off white. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah or okay. ugly white if you want to be normative, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and if you wanna wanna put put certain colors down. Yeah. Bad case of colorism, you know. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, you know when when the. When the show match was, uh, he played in this. I don't know what to call it. I just call it ugly. <laughs> the color ugly. This uh, grayish, blackish color that you can pick. Okay, so let's see yeah. what what is doing. It's just doing a normal build, and I think we will see uh, twelve nexus from uh, Quark. Yeah, pretty standard so far. <laughs> Quark is really not. Uh, Really not oh, pushing the APM here. <laughs> no, he he never is. He's like Master A in that regard. Yeah, yeah. He just likes to be, uh, solid. Very thoughtful of how he spends his actions and what is the next thing he needs to do. Yeah. Instead of just doing things <laughs> randomly and doing them quickly. Okay, people in chat, we have a new game going on now, so uh, please focus, refocus from the last game, and let's get into the next one. But Vody isn't really into chatting much, is he? Oh, no. now he is. I, I like Vody a lot. I, I, do you know when I really started to like Vody? It was a game he played versus Oija on uh, uh, Plasma. And Oija went for carriers. And the response was uh, Valkyries. And I was like, does that work? And it works so well. It was uh, so funny to watch it. Valkyries just drain shields and carriers because shields take full damage from everything. Yeah. So it's basically, if you just have like three, three full Valkyries to take, uh, take away all the carrier shields, yeah. That's pretty pretty strong already. Yeah, it worked really well. He had so many Valkyries, and and he he controlled them so well. So he was very close to winning. He still lost the game, but it was because of of Oi just push against him. But it was really really fun to see how well he did it. So body became a favorite for me after that. <laughs> People that you val use Valkyries in TVP, they get they they get the favorite stuff. Yeah, they need to they need to have an. Oh, let's see here. Battle. I think we have a big problem here for Quark actually. Yeah, it's a standard thing. Yeah, when you try to do a twelve. Well, Valkyries getting uh, 12, delayed. Uh, next. Yeah, and he's pushing out with that salad. He needs to get on top of but those. But they will come. Uh, no, uh, no, 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 no. Now we see ah, the vultures coming. Another salad, and that vulture's taking damage. That's huge, huge, huge. Let's see if he can hold this quark. Nice. Oh no, no, no. It's fine. The dragoons are out. Yeah. Dragoons are out. The SUV is going he down. Need to, he need to pull more probes down. I I guess it's fine. I I would save those probes, but it doesn't matter if he's saving those. Uh, He's in a good spot. Oh. Basically, this Nexus has to go down for work not to be massively ahead. Yeah, but I've now the bunker is up. So let's yeah, see if he can. No, uh, there is no can marine. Can he get in? No, yeah, died. one marine was standing in there and waiting. Let's see if. Oh, they, oh gonna get he will not get it. It's dying right. Oh, oh, it was so close to getting into the bunker. Let's see here what's happening. The Very more Marines are, are coming. 180 APM from 70 and Vody Oh, GG. Vody did it. Yeah. Vody lost. 
Honestly, you're so far ahead. If you pull like how many, I, I didn't pay close attention to how many uh, SUV he pulled. If you pull like eight, that's that's a normal amount. I think it was eight. Like yeah. ten, you're really committing. So yeah. if you hold that off with a twelve Nexus, you're just crazy game there. Oh, you're already, already winning, basically. Yeah, and it's well a matter played. Of technique. There. At that point, it was just a matter of technique and work out that technique for sure. So. Okay, yeah, that was uh, very, very interesting. Yeah, still kind of a, a respectful GG from, from Body because. Yeah. Uh, you could force Quark to, to play it out still. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought that was a really, really. Really good game here for Quark to to. Yes, it's always nice that. if you win out of the bat because because that that build fails. Yeah, now I we mean, have. It's pretty standard for Terran to push the, to, to 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 make that uh eight SCV push because I cannot join again. You gotta rehost. Uh, it's very standard. Thank for you, Terran Blizzard. Eight SCV push because. It has such a high uh, win rate, I guess. Or Can you get win rate is... No. Thank you, Blizzard. Game. You restart your game as well. Yeah. I, I, I really think that Blizzard is not giving a crap about Frog War anymore. Doesn't work. Okay, restarting the game. Okay, so everyone, let's pray to the higher gods that uh, Dreamhaven yeah, will Blizzard buy. RNG. What? Let's play to the Blizzard RNG, unable to join yeah. game. Okay, you know, I don't even see when you get on getting into when you leave and then come back. Okay, that's weird. So you are displaying the enter and leave messages, I take it? I don't get your messages now. Let's see here. That's very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could also try sending me the replays and I'll just yeah, start we'll, again. Yeah, we'll try that. Let's do one last time here. All right. I'm sorry, you guys. In chat, this is not the best content for you, but Blizzard is not. Yeah, you can't. Let's send you the replays then. Yeah. Yet. Oh, thanks a lot. Blizzard, Blizzard, Blizzard. So annoying. Mm. Mm. Okay, so let's look. And you've restarted your game as well? Yeah. Alright. Can okay. you get it? Yeah. I'm extracting. Yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a short break for you guys. Okay. I'll just put the stream on the 60 second uh, commercial break. Do you have it? Yeah, yeah. Just a second. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <clears throat> okay, can you can you uh join? No? Do you have password on? Yeah. It's one. I can't. No! I'm getting in. Oh! Nice. This is okay. working now. Really good. Look! Something is working. Great. Okay, so let's get into the next game. Gonna, get, gonna start? Yeah, let's start.
and uh, everyone if you when, when we have breaks like that feel free to push the subscribe button down below I really need some subscriptions I only have two so uh, just uh, hit the subscribe button when you are feeling for it and everyone will be pleased about that okay let's see what we get here this is the map Camelot what do you oh, think about Camelot. yeah what do you think about this map for a uh, for a pro player for yeah it's very good for Terran very small you can push across very quickly with the two one push and then if the Protoss counter attacks you can easily defend uh, and mostly are in time to defend against that counter attack as well so Protoss is really uh, having a tough time on that map. Oh you started game 3? No I started game 2. Are you sure? Yeah I'm very sure. Gets, let's get out of here anyway. Let's Perhaps. leave. Yeah, I All think right. you started the wrong one. Maybe they gave it in the wrong order. Uh, well, the, the the final name said game, game two. two. Yeah, it said game two. Yeah, I have the same. But then it's okay. Uh, so let's go for the polypod game then. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so... This is. Uh... This is not on us. It's this a, is not on us. Yeah, you. not uh, we not bad. You bad. <laughs> so did did uh, Quark give you a tip in? in yeah, the yeah, chat? he said it in chat. All right. Okay, so let's see if I can. Maybe, Quark, if you haven't said anything in chat, we could have just thought that this was game game two, you see? And no one yeah. had to know. <laughs> but he already said that you're going to lose anyway, so... Yeah, but... Um, let's not talk about the game results here, you, you guys. <laughs> yeah. In chat. <laughs> I think it's uh, better if we have no spoilers. Spoil less, subscribe more is a motto we have on this channel. Okay, so we have 1 0, and now we have Quark in the majestic color magenta. And we have white in. Uh, no, this is the same. This is grayish white, or broken white, or off white. Yeah, in off white. The, yeah, in the top in proper right English. corner. Yeah, this is the tournament that you're looking is at BBCL. So yeah, this is a tournament. <clears throat> okay, so this is uh, our second series for today. The first uh, series was uh, easily won actually by DeWalt. He won two straight games, quite short one. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful games, yeah, by the yeah. way. So the format is uh, four one on ones, and then we end with a two on two actually. So that's the format, and we have our we have the lovely player scarves with us today. Hello, everybody. Yeah, he, it's lovely when he's uh, joining me. Yeah, it's lo it was always nice to join you. It's very fun, very <laughs> much fun. Yeah, in the show match, you see, we we had the lovely player. Bonif to to cast with me. That's so cool. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I'm find you. I'm glad you found a good replacement for me when I was busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you couldn't do it, so I had to replace you with someone on equal <laughs> on equal ground. So I took Bonif. Oh, this is interesting. Look at this. Vody has taken a gas. Yeah. But it's. Uh, a weird sim city at the bottom almost as if he wanted to go for a gasless expansion yeah it looks like a gasless expansion but it's not and now 
he's cutting gas, right? So it's basically a a factory expansion. Yeah. Normal. I would like it. What I really bottom. like sometimes if when people do this fake out when they do the bunker, and and then they go for two facts. Uh, oh, you think between. that's what it is? But no, but I don't think that's what it. it is now. No, no, no. Because he pulled uh, he pulled gas, so it can't be right. Or is yeah, it this, can't be. Is this just uh, one I factory push? I mean, it might push? be some kind of FD. Yeah, one factory push, maybe. Yeah, some sort of FD, perhaps. Well, let's see. if. Yeah, he's queuing a fourth marine, so this is most likely going to be some kind of FD. Might be six marine FD. Who knows? Uh, he's lifting the factory? Uh, okay. Just uh, let's click. Uh... Body is still scouting out Quark and sees that everything is pretty much standard. Sees 23 Nexus on time. And Will the he... is gonna oh, but go this is. Scout. What's happening? Oh no, what's it doing? He's just he letting the. He on the SUV on the ramp and he's doing oh. it. And he's trying to trap it. This is. Brutal. But he needs to put oh, it but there. He, but, he, but he gets. Oh my god. Oh, now we see. Oh, nice now we see. Blocking. Nice body blocking. He really wants to kill that Dragoon before he can scout. Yeah, yeah. That's why I said he needs to pull that SUV and put it on top of the ramp. It was slight, with a slight miss micro. Paul, please don't say stuff like that. Don't say rip and stuff. No one except you and Vardy have seen this game. We have no idea if it's a rip or whatever it is. <laughs> uh, I think I might, I might have to uh, do the not the ban hammer, but the timeout ban hammer hammer stuff. <laughs> yeah. Like we're gonna time out the future player. <laughs> yeah. Sounds beautiful, I think. Let's see here what's uh, happening now. Then we see one tank and and uh, five marines coming. Yeah, yeah, we we had a consensus that it was gonna die quirky, right? Yeah, but still, we should not know anything about if you're gonna die or, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you gotta think about our suspense, you know? Yeah, yeah. And the suspense is very important. Okay, yeah. I think this was an overreaction with the pro pool. Yeah, me too, me too. I think I he, mean, he had three. All right. There is uh, three dragoons, and he could just target the tank oh, uh, no, before this is... happens. But now think... the problem is that he can't even have observer because he's killing yeah. the robotic. So that's just what I wanted to say. Yeah. <laughs> well. No, I see. Thanks it. for the follow, Clickmare. Thanks for the follow. Now we're. If he had siege. If he had siege now, he he could just kill him, and siege is about to be done. Yeah. Oh wow! Nice mind drags. I clearly underestimated the amount of mines he had on those vultures. True. Also, he's clumping them up. But still, this is. This is a great position here for Vody still. Yes, very much. Because he lost so many probes back there. <clears throat> he's nine. He's on 19 probes. No uh, observer, so he's really afraid of my mines. And now we can just see Vody building up here. Thanks for the follow. Also, you know Nom Cocky Master. Nom Cookie Master, yeah. Thank you for the follow. This is great. We're, we're soon at uh, 200 followers. Uh, that's really good. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people are tuning into those BBCL casts that we're doing. Yeah. I think it's because of you, though. It's charming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, now I'm, I'm throwing back my, my, my neck, you know, and... Yeah, all, waving all your hair. Yes. <laughs> like like Conan the Barbarian, of course. <clears throat> yeah, he okay. lost a lot of he lost a lot of uh, probes 
by the rush the fill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 38 to 24. Yeah. So the follow up for Vodu is a, is a very safe one. It's what? Like... Both vultures escape? <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> Five <laughs> health on both of them. <laughs> Let's go and repair them as well. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, you should definitely. Yeah. I mean, but, it saves you a lot of money if you. Yeah, but Terrence yeah, doesn't would. care about the vultures almost. After they use their minds, they are like, let them die. They are. Mm. Terrence are, are very. Like the yeah, but Terrence are very. very bad at, at that kind of thing they don't really like their own units they think as them as waste <laughs> no protos don't like their own units when they <laughs> sacrifice them in minefields yeah <laughs> mines, no, yeah they, the, set, the seal is just moving out and, and uh, the, the sealots are just <laughs> running right into mines thought about being a sealot that would be horrible yes horrifying actually yeah <clears throat> oh mind drag mind drag mind oh! drag no 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 mind drag so good so good oh. targeting with the tanks look at this Ooh. oh this is so and good no tank side okay so finally good. going down yeah, because of the damage, not of the, not that yeah. he damaged himself. Well, at least he's clearing those those tanks. That's that's not bad. Yeah, but that's I must say well, I'm so impressed of that. Still 28 probes, so he's been cutting. Yeah, cutting probes a lot. That 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 game, and went all all in. But you saw that that was that some some really nice up. things going on there. You saw there was so much. Uh, uh, attack going on and he still didn't shoot one single shot at the sealers. Yeah, that was very nice. That's high skill. I think Vodi had, is becoming better than actual. better. Yeah. Yeah. Vodi is like being more and more of, of a top player and I've seen him play some show matches and stuff and I see him in Red Cup uh, clan and, and so on and he's really coming up there being better than better for for every day that's going and i think that in like one year or something he can be participating in in uh, really high level play he's high level now as well but i mean like s ranked or something um i think he's more of an a rank player right now high a, a rank but still yeah he plays like an i a rank at least yeah i think he is like highly up there but I think he could improve a bit more. Actually quite nice. This is this is really nice. I think it's a a, a good effort. Yeah. Uh, also with the DT of course, but it's not quite enough. No and, and the the thing is that we see that even if he would lose this base he would still win the game because you see here there is eight yeah. barracks coming here there's just too much uh, Terran in the in coming yep. here so <laughs> yeah that's that's usually a GG question <laughs> and he answers correctly so yeah <laughs> I love yeah. that oh. I mean if, if they, they play uh, top versus bottom usually uh, I mean yeah. If if they if they were playing melee, he could have just given him vision. Yeah, yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> but that's not really a thing. The that yeah, I I see your point. <laughs> okay, so we have one one. And now let's get into the second third game then. <laughs> Many, many plays, many, many views here that I don't uh, have on on my channel usually. So, thank you for for tuning in.
there are many inactive BVCL casters and, and uh, I think Vincent is very sick. I'm not sure if he says Corona or something, but I really wish him uh, health and, and well-being here. Yes, I hope so too. He seems like a nice guy. Yeah, he really is. And, and even if he, when he was so tired and, and he was so down, he still uh, tried to help me a bit on my, my cast when I asked him a few questions, but he didn't even have the the strength to sit up in bed so I thought that maybe I should not I, I hope it's nothing nothing serious no I'm not sure I thought maybe I think I think he yeah he's sick I'm not sure what's really happening with him but he was really ill so I hope he will recover soon if you are believers send in a prayer for him if you're not become a believer so you can send in some prayers okay so we have uh, the same colors here we have the magenta protos and we have the off-white body on Camelot. <clears throat> and we have a follower, Lucas Perucci. Maybe from Italy. Welcome, Lucas Perucci. Feel good day. Feel good today, says man couldn't have turned Z 180 just for the giggles. Well, I didn't think work would have bought that. <laughs> would you yeah. would you, would you have bought that pork? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, my player send him some iced tea. Yeah, I think that's a good thing. So this is going to be a twelve nexus again. Yeah, maybe, but I'm not sure why he's doing the why he's doing the. 12 nexus uh, on the maps where there are uh, just two player maps well he, I guess it's Maybe kind of nice to, to map for, for for Terran you might want to get a head start on it yeah well, maybe he wants to, to have the, the rush from uh, Terran and, and try to hold it oh 12 gateway look at that interesting that's yeah so maybe this is the thing that he wants to do the he wants to lure him out to s speed attack him and then try to hold it well let's it has see. worked before yeah so let's see if he, he can do it once again <clears throat> and let's see what this is from body though so will be... body will will rush him. You think so? Again, with, yeah, of course, especially in Camelot. I mean, it was cross positions on Polypoid last time. Yeah. Where we no, lost it wasn't. It, so... it wasn't. No, no, no. It was Eclipse. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. You're right. Sorry. But Sorry. this is a smaller map than Eclipse. Yes, exactly. It's such a small map that that was uh, along the lines of what I wanted to tell. Yeah. Uh. So I'm I'm pretty sure he, he he has to do it again. Well, he doesn't have to, but I think it's the correct response. The pros, uh, namely Flash, has figured out for for Terran players. It's not the same really because he he attacked with a few uh, Marines last time. Now he's really. Yeah, he's building more marines, so... Yeah, I think this but is more... But he should more... take this fight. No, he no, should, no. He really shouldn't take this fight. I think he should just Every go back on the and marine, wait for the bad. vulture. Just go back and wait for the vulture to come out. Okay. Oh, one, one marine died. Mm, Eight. Not that bad, but he needs to get the fourth marine out of the way. Because the vulture is clumping up. Okay, now, nah, finally. Okay. Now we see... He's bringing oh, nine oh. SCVs now, one's a bit battered. Oh, this, um, is so... this is still going to be tough. Yeah, let's see here. He needs to target the sealer very, very fast. He, I think he engaged a little bit too quick. And those probes are doing some good damage. This is going to be a hold, I think. Yeah, maybe he needs to go back right now because he's... I think that... Ah, oh, uh... but he doesn't, doesn't lose. He may not lose that goon. Just okay. keeping it alive. 
left alive. Oh. He can't let the bunker oh. finish, and it didn't. I think he he could have let it finish because he could have focused the marine instead. Yeah, maybe that's true. Maybe that's true. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that but was uh, scary. And okay, and now we see Vardin will not leave the game this time that he did before because he he I survives. Think he got more done. With, yeah, more done, and he, he and he has he those vultures out on the map, you know. Yeah. I think I think last time he he went for a couple tanks and now he's gonna slip by. Oh, this but is... this is very bad micro here from Quark actually. He's not let him in talk. Oh, but look at the run by the vultures. Yeah, yeah. Going around. That's what I'm talking about. Oh shit. Uh, but now well, why does the attack not with too the much dragoons? damage done so far? He can attack with the dragoons here. Right into Vardy's yeah, main. The There's nothing in Vardy's main. I think this might cost Quark the game. He needs to go right now. Yeah, he needs to attack and go. There's nothing here. He needs to pull SUVs, which he does. Yeah. That Dragoon needs to go go back. But there's only eleven, uh, only eleven probes for Quark, but he will. But he has the second Nexus. It's fine, yeah. and he has uh, that presence. He, he, why is he so scared? He just needs to get on top of that tank. I'm not sure. Just one tank or two marines. Even if you and do. And now, but he's waiting for more. Especially units. now. Oh, now go, we can go. just go and win this. Yeah, but meanwhile, mines could be underway. If he had a vulture popping out, he could yeah. lay three mines, and then he would have I to clear. I think Cork will like take pieces. this, won't he? I sh I think he should take it. I, I mean, I, I I don't see how Quark holds this off. How? Oh, this uh, is a win for for him. Now we see the mine here. Oh, but look, at th that was really good uh, surround. Yes, the SUVs are doing a lot of damage here. Oh, but this is still so much. Honestly, just he doesn't have to overcommit One tank left. for anything. Oh, this is gonna die. It's gonna die. But a second is. <sighs> no, no tank on the way. He's building a vulture. What is dying I here? I think that's a mistake. If there was another tank popping out, he would be in a much much better position now. Oh yes, and he focused down that that SCV. And now, but now he's safe. Now there is one mine, and he needs to go back to that mine. Yeah, but he knows the line, mine's location. He could just uh, start to stab it. He, if he, if he started stabbed it, he, I think he could deal critical. Maybe he doesn't know how damage. many it is. But isn't this? Uh, I think he just saw one vulture, so he knows. But okay, he killed the this vulture game, and he laid two two mines, yeah. and this one mine uh, had already taken ten damage. So he, he, I think he knew the location. I think he really should have gone for the patrol micro. Can and... body actually go back from this game? Uh, now uh, no. I think what what we can see here is what I like to see here is going directly into. To carriers here, I would like that. Yeah, I I guess. Yeah, just just go for goons and and go go to target carriers. What can you do against that? Uh, to be honest, I think there's nothing much that what he can do at that point. He doesn't have a CC yet. Okay, it's about three quarters done. No, no not more than quarters, half. Two, two thirds. Yeah, two yeah. thirds done. So. But uh, still, still, I'm just like. Now we need to think about how can can, can uh... Quark still lose this? You mean? I don't think Quark will lose this. He just mind uh... fucked us in chat, maybe. Yeah. What a nasty boy. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought British are nasty. <laughs> I'm not sure. But are you drinking this... at least a cup of tea, Quark? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, the command center is done. He's floating it slowly onto the mining site. Yeah, but he should not and be able to come back here. 25 no SCVs to 39. But Vod is a really good player, so maybe a great yeah, run by or something. Too. But I will still. I, I, will I was just going to mass beat shuttles, I think. Oh, you would? Yeah, just that's the new meta map. style from. I think best really, really made this happen. Well, it's it's 
gaining popularity every couple of years, it feels like. Yeah, but I think Best Lives has been very popular before. Yeah, did you see Best vs. Light on the... No, we didn't see it yet. There's so much good games there, and there's a lot of uh, Speed Shuttle with Storms. Yeah, that's... Go in with there, four Speed Shuttle very famous... Storm everywhere. Uh, there is a very famous uh, Reach clip where he drops out his uh, four HTs with full energy and he just storms a whole tank line. Yeah, I remember. I, 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 yeah, I've seen it. It's wonderful. Yes. But I really like the. I really like how Best plays uh, PVT right now, and I think Best is really coming up to to becoming one of the best uh, Protosses right now. I I hope so. Best is definitely one of those players who would should have won a lot more tournaments. Yeah, but the would problem is right bad, now that you right now the Sergs are so great. Yeah, I think that's that's a big issue for Protoss in general at the moment. Even yeah. though they're doing quite well. Yeah, but uh, so and Queen the has... are really inventing new stuff. Yeah. And it's very hard for pros to stay on top of it and, and react and yeah. because because uh, Zero is so in, in all innovative. The same goes for Hero. Yeah, Hero. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually not sure how 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 good Hero is. I think he has come I, back recently from the military. Yeah, like maybe he is. I'm not, I don't think he's one of the. He's the the thing with him is he's really. He's a real organized player. The builds are, are really there. Like the build orders are, are 100%. <laughs> but it's very, very standard. And I think the the, the player that will, will be top in, in like one year, he's almost there, is Suma. I think he will win everything soon. Yes, and of course, Soma is the biggest inventor of the Zerg race at yeah, the moment. Yeah, and he's young as well. And he's young. I think he will will be better than Queen and, and all those players and and at some point yeah and I think it's interesting what Flash is doing with the random but I'm not I'm not sure it will work out okay so let's see here we see that Quark is up 50 supply here but I'm not sure what is really after here is it uh, he just wants to bash the tank <laughs> the tank line he yeah. just sees that there is no mines, there is nothing but tanks and two turrets. So I think this is he doesn't still... really care. He has a shuttle. He can fly around those turrets and drop on top of the tanks. Yeah, let's see here. Uh, what he will do. Because there's so much dead airspace. Okay, body sees the shuttle coming in, but I think dropping, cell bombing those tanks. Yes, and now he moves in. Oh, that's really good. Because he forces the siege and, and yeah, this, this is. is... GP. This is a no, GG. You cannot. Yeah. Oh, Vardy lost. Oh, so Quark, you, you just uh, you just tricked us there. What a naughty Brit. Yeah, very, very naughty. <laughs> okay. Very, very good play here for, for Quark, actually. Congratulations, Quark. Well played. I've really enjoyed those games. Yeah, the problem, I think the problem with the, the rush there from Vardy again is that he went into the trap of Quark two times with it. Maybe, I'm not sure that you really need to... He missed Microde and he engaged uh, too quickly with... Uh... Yeah, but can't you actually just go into to two gates or something and, and slow push it? Do you need to, to go for that quick push as a Terran there? Yes, you cannot let uh, Protoss get away with that. If you... Uh, let Protoss get away with a <laughs> successful 12 nax. Protoss is ahead. I mean, it's not game ending, but it's it's a nice lead. Yeah. There is basically no real threat from Terran. There, there is no timing that they can hit. I mean, of course, they can always try and go for the uh, five factory play or a seven factory two one something. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you just scout the the gateway, uh, uh, the factory count and. Uh, adapt your gateway numbers. True. I'm, I will try to make a OEJ versus Ash Dream. Uh, it's open life. What? Have you made? Have, yeah, sure. Oh, sorry. I, I have D and D on this, so I don't. 
Let me see. Okay, let's get into the next game here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, give me just two seconds here, and then we will get into our next game for you, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, it's 1-1 uh, right now. Ash versus IRK, and I think it uh, if um, Ash wins this, I think it's a little bit of a of a uh, s like uh, it's not what you expect, right? Uh, sorry, what what did you say? If uh, Ash would to win this, it, uh, it would have been a bit of an upset, right? I think uh, IRK must be the favorite. But, uh, I think it favors R RK, yeah. Yeah. But Rima is also an S rank, so very it's a very scary player. Yeah, and I, and I think the the weakest uh, the weakest uh, matchup for Oja is PVP, so it's really struggling PVP. We have seen Oja beating like Eon Sug for you. We've seen him beating a lot of great Terran players, but every time he go up against the the best Protoss like uh, Bonith or Dewalt, he's struggling so much. So. Actually, saw a show match Oja versus PR. Uh, PRL or PRT or something uh, and that was the, the most weird games I ever seen actually Oija was playing quite standard but uh, his opponent played so weird so Oija didn't know what to do because he was like what's happening <laughs> are you still there Scops? yes I'm still here oh, yeah. just talking with Quark in the chat oh yeah I see I see So, two gates uh, from Dreamer. Uh, I like seeing that. 10, 12, two gates. And. And, oh yeah, just going for a very standard 13 cool into a 14 salad, I think. Or just. Uh, Especially after seeing that that two gate. One thing you can actually try to do is to, to try to make a manor pylon versus the two gate. That's really mm, that's good because annoying. if you, it, yeah. yeah, because if you try to go across the map, you you can't really handle the mana pylon, and if you handle the mana pylon, the rush is is slow. So, I like that. Yeah, but but look at the pylon placement from Dreamer. He's really scared of that one minor pylon, so he puts it there to prevent that from happening. Yeah, that's good. Ever, pretty pretty good uh, nuance. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so we see three sailors coming actually. And OEJ is just scouting and scouting and scouting. OEJ is like a, a player that is very, very good at, at doing stuff like that. To never lose his probe, to keep on on uh, having control all the time, and look at this uh, micro here from Oja and and oh that's good, oh that's so good. Oh, but that. that was a no, it's mistake, fine. Maybe it's it's fine. It's not ideal, but yeah, but he should not lose uh, probes here. I uh, one yeah probe goes one, down. Is, one is all right. Let's see here. Two okay, probes. two probes. Yeah, but it's going to be fine. He's not cutting probe production. Three probes. Okay, three. That's a little bit painful. But look at this. He can straight okay. counter pressure him. He can straight counter pressure him. And okay, those two dragoons are going to pop, but it's still two dragoons against the salad, and the salad can't force him up the ramp. Okay, okay. now we okay. see. Uh... Because usually you have actually three transitions uh, if you go for a two gate. Yeah. You either go for a uh, two gate into into uh, macro, basically robotics 
on two gateways and nexus. Reva, then there is also four gates or DT. Yeah. I think, yeah, and C, I think that is a robotic, so it's actually a, a an interesting build that we see yeah. here. And they say that uh, some, some kind Quark of says that you are wrong. <laughs> Quark mm -hmm. says that the casters are wrong, the dreamer is ahead. <laughs> because dreamer yeah, is well, up in the head on tech, so. yeah, that's true. Yeah. I, I'm I'm Well, I think Oya was ahead before because he could have attacked. Because he had his small timing window to attack up to high ground yeah and get the information he needed and so on but this is good because he attacks before before range look at this Oija just hit the timing before range was was in yeah but it's not gonna do anything yeah maybe not it's not working out at all oh he's losing if he so... wanted to attack he needed to do it right after defending that attack and true, now he's true. gonna lose yeah. dragoons one Dragoon goes down, but two Sealots uh, got down as well. Now there is five against four, so maybe he can engage now. Very good here from Oja. Oh, he doesn't lose. Oh, he lost one. Oh, that high ground. Wow, that high ground. Yeah. Brutal, brutal. Now we see Oja coming in more. Quark, it depends on how quickly you kill uh, those salads. <laughs> yeah, Quark. And I must say, the Protoss expert here to to uh, for me, it's Scarf, so I trust him. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, so he will get the blame. So don't say casters. Let say scoffs. <laughs> Call him by his. Yeah, name. I have a name, Quark. <laughs> no problem. Okay, so I think Dreamer is uh, uh, in in uh, uh, lead here, and he cuts a lot of probes to to get up here. And I think Oja will have a hard time to uh, to hold this. There is a, a quite a big uh, unit advantage here, so let's see if he can uh, harass this. But what we want to see is him pulling probes right away. I think. I think Oja would uh, hold this, right? Much GG. Oh, I'm not uh, sure. Uh, at what cost? Is the big question. Yeah, but he's so far ahead in in probes, so losing a. Yeah, probes. but he cannot trade those probes no, efficiently, true. I think. That's that's, that's But one issue. reaver is coming, if he can hold a bit more, and one reaver is coming as well. Yeah, it's I think it's he good. can hold this and he's still and he, he has the, the top of the ramp, he, he's yeah. getting it. Look at this. And with the expand as well. But now goons need to come. Okay, he's still in a good worker. Carrot. OJ is still in the worker lead though, and yeah, have a nexus up. and a nexus up. I think this was so close for OJ to die here. Actually, yeah, I I, I think it would have been rather in Dreamer's position here. You think because so? Because that attack was very scary. <laughs> Quark just it's said that right now. <laughs> right Dreamer now, it's is very behind. <laughs> yeah, of course he's behind. Yeah, yeah. Whenever an attack like this fails, you're pretty much behind. But before the attack, I would have been in rather in Dreamer's position because yeah. it works a lot of the time. I think it has high equity. Oh, but he will lose the Reaver now. But Oja will yeah. still hold this, right? I think so, because there's a second Reaver popping out. Yeah, he will hold this with only the goons. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, very good micro here. Very intense game. Both of these players are playing their hearts out, actually. But we need yeah. to see we need to see more probes coming out of Dreamer right now if he wants to catch up here. But right mm, now I, I think, think that he's all in. 
And yeah, yeah, he's just all in. I mean, he was at an economic disadvantage and at attack advantage at some point, but that turns into a disadvantage because he didn't go for his own Reavers True. since he had three gateways. And right now, OJ can just take it slow and slow play this because he knows he's, he's up. Yes. I, I'm not sure that cutting probes in this position as Oya is really good, but I guess I guess it's alright because he's probably going to hit a timing with a shuttle. Yeah. And two two reavers. So cutting probes at forty two total makes sense, I think. Also, there is a point where making those probes and building the pylons for the probes uh, isn't really super effective in boosting your income if you compare it to what you have to spend to, to get the extra probes. Yep. So, that's that's a point where you... Yeah, I think he will just try to go across the map here when he yeah. gets the... I mean, he knows he has Reavers and his opponent has, has Can no Can I Reavers. ask you one thing that I, I really yeah. thought when PvP? Can't you just go, like, uh, goons into speed sealots a lot earlier than, than what people do in PvP? Uh, you want to get that Reaver. Okay. It's, uh, if, you, if you get it very quickly on one base, you can, as some sort of cheese. You can't you just skip? It and go straight into speed sealots and uh, Reavers are really good against uh, Reavers are really good against uh, sealots. So. Yeah, no, but if you have some goons, you can you can use the sealots to engage the goons, and, and you can use the the goons to engage. Don't really I'm pretty yeah, really sure I'm... it's been tried by pro players, but yeah. Okay, so Two Reavers he's coming in. I don't them here, and yeah, let's see. he's targeting oh. the cannon. Very good, very nice. Because yeah, if you target the cannon, you get some probe kills guaranteed, even yeah. if he's pulling them correctly. And now I think he will move in. Now we saw. Yeah, what, he's gonna, just gonna drop those shuttles, no crawl them in. And I think if you're boxed in in a choke like this, there's not much you can do, especially if he's just pushing you with those Reavers. And let's see when the where the storm is. Is the storm finished? The storm is soon, soon finished. So if he keeps on attacking here, that would be good because two storms will will come soon when the storm upgrade is done. But of course, Oida doesn't know that. But I'm not sure why he just uh, got back here. I think he's uh, in a great position here. So. Now let's see if he targets the... Oh, that was a good target. Did you see that? He targeted the, the Templar. Yeah. GG. I think Quark was right in the chat that uh, there was a lot of uh, times in this game where Dreamer was ahead. Yeah, it's a back and forth. Basically, there were a lot of times where Dreamer really could have won, and the, the game just slipped away after his uh, three gate goon attack didn't kill him yeah. because the second Reaver popped, and at that point he was stable because his whole army had been traded and his attack had had uh, fizzled out. <clears throat> yeah, GG everyone. That was uh, fun to watch. <clears throat> and right now you, we see that we have four players, four followers left until we have 200. So please feel free to follow uh, this and, and uh, it would be lovely if you, if you follow me. But uh, as we, we used to say in, in the, this channel, follow, donate and subscribe. So please feel free to to jump in to to subscribe and uh, become top and in, in the thing down below. 
Okay, let's get into our next game on Polypoid. I'm not. Oh, not bomb. Oh, bombastoid. Yeah, that's the same. All right, the dreamer starting in the top left, and oh, oh yeah, G is uh, spawning in the top right. Yeah. In a blackish gray color. Okay, I just put speed two one. Oh, you did it, right? Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, why can't I take it down too, too fast? <laughs> I was just putting all the buttons there, and I was like, where is it? Is it in D? <laughs> is it in D? Yeah, that's like a thing when you start a replay, you always go to, to X2 or X4 directly. Yes, exactly. Maybe X8 in the start. Would be a normal thing to do, usually at the start of the game. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, hell right. Nice. One, two, three. Oh, I must I must complain a bit on your name. Yeah, hell right. Nice. One, two, three. Come on, man. <laughs> what a name is that? Just the one, two, three in the end is really weird, man. But thanks for the follow anyway. <laughs> thanks a lot. Okay, so we see the dreamer is scouting the right way. And here, I think this color that Oija have, this color is ugly. Uh, yeah, it's something between black and gray. <laughs> horrible. Yeah. It's so even, it's very horrible on the minimap. I think it. Yeah, we can just switch it up to blue versus red if we want to. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that so we will not get ugly here. Okay, so we have in the blue, we have Dreamer, and in the red we have Oija or Oija. Oyaji. Oyajaji. Oyaji. I wonder if that is an uh, a Japanese name. I'm not sure. Oyaji. I think it means like. Is he? I think he when when you see him, he doesn't look like a, a Japanese or something. He, his his name is Yuan Passion. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, he's from Sweden. Yeah, but it doesn't stop people from making a Japanese. Uh, yeah, of name. course, of course. I mean, I'm I'm named after a scarf. <laughs> it's not Japanese, but I mean, but it's still pretty weird. I mean. Yeah, but what's your real name? I'm Patrick. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we see one sea lot coming in here from Oja. And that's one, gonna do some damage. Yeah, one drone is gone already, and we see. One probe kill is good. And a lot of uh, probes are, are just. Oh, uh, two. Two probes. Oh, uh, three now. No, but this two. is plenty. Oh, <laughs> I tried to get in there, but. Ah, uh, that probes. was too greedy. I think, I think if he had just uh, gone away with that, sent it home, he would have been in a two probe lead. I mean, it's still nice to have that one probe lead. Yeah. I will tell you, Dipwood, the face cam is there, because if you think the game is boring, you can always look at my pretty face. That's why. Okay, so Oija is going for... Two gate, three gate? No, two gate maybe into Reaver or something he has some uh, two gate robotics build quite standardish <clears throat> yeah I think it's an interesting three gate from Dreamer because the Dragoons are not really synced up but I guess it has to do with uh, the, the probes lost and the, the, the disrupted mining time. And now he's pulling uh, probes again, Head Dreamer. He's pulling what? Sorry? He's pulling probes. No, not pulling. What is this? He stopped making probes. Okay. Cutting. Yeah. Sorry, cutting probes. Not yeah, I, I was. He's, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. He's cutting probes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is going to be go 
yeah, this is Brigade Ops. Okay, Oijai is a Buddhist temple of the Tendai sect in the city of something. <laughs> in the city of Utsunumiya. Yeah, G means temple. Uh, yeah. But so I think maybe he's a Buddhist or something, Oija? Who knows? Yeah, I'm not sure. I think it also means something like man. I think it is a certain. Does it mean uncle? I don't know. Where is your OIE when we need you? You need to come in here and explain it to us, man. Are you here? Yeah. You're, you're, he's not in chat. And look at this. 29 probes from uh, Oyaji and only 20 probes here from Dreamer. But Dreamer is in a huge advantage uh, with the goons. Oh, maybe it's only one more goon. Actually, now the same amount of goons. But right now, I would like to say that Dreamer is trying to, to take an expansion or something and use this. Oh, yeah, he, I think, yeah, now he's making a river just to be safe to try to take his next. I think. Oyaji is going to be. Or is it pronounced Oyaji? Oyaji. Oh, let's because just say yes. Oyja. <laughs> yeah, because he's, sometimes he's, he's not having the whole thing. He's, sometimes it's just Oyja. Uh. <laughs> you think I'm lazy? You think I should, I no, should pronounce no. Oya? Oh, say it again then. Oyaji or Oyaji or Oyaji. Oyaji. It, it has to be one of those, right? Yeah, I think so. I th this should favor uh, Oyaji at the moment because he has Reavers, but Reaver doesn't, and his Nexus is not that much slower. Yep. And also look at the probe lead. Yeah, 33 yeah. probes to 23 this is quite crushing even if that second nexus is a lot quicker for dreamer he can never catch up no and we see that he's uh, not making reverse he's going in for he's going in for the yeah, Citadel of Dune instead and I think maybe tempers yeah and look at that that observer got down yeah. that's that for the scouting information mm. But he got a full scout, so he knows what's going on. Yeah, still, but he wants to keep that observer alive. Especially if you want to attack the Templars. It's really annoying if you have to build another another observer. Rather spend it on Templars and and Psystorm. I think you're totally right here, Quark, that uh, Dreamer is trying to do two things at the same time. He's both going for like this all in with free gates, and then he was like, oh, maybe this will not work. And he just switched it around and tried to, to play safe with the observer, getting into temporary archives and stuff. I, I totally agree with you that instead, go for five to seven gates and just try to crush it. It would have been, been a, a better play. I agree with you. Okay, let's see here what uh, Dreamer will do. Now we see a lot of Templars coming. And he will try to, to storm this. Now we see one Reaver going straight up to to the main. And there is nothing to defend that. Oh, this is going to be quite brutal. Oh, no, yep. one more. Sniper. I can even snipe a Templar. Ouch. Oh, that's really good. But that's I value think right there. He could have gone one more Scarab right into the... the oh, without attacking like the Reaver in the shuttle. Yeah, but maybe it would have been worth it because it was a quite big line. I think he will get uh, five or six uh, probes with that shot. But right now he... we see that... Uh, actually, we see that uh, Dreamer is uh, really getting some some probes by himself now so now it's only seven probe deficit deficit before it was uh, 10 or 11 
I think I think keeping that shuttle alive is gonna set him up now to drop off two Reavers in the main, kill kill those goons that are defending here. He's gonna get more value now. Or he's just gonna snipe here a Dragoon. Yeah. I would that like for I would like for Dreamer to, to make a shuttle and, and try to make some temple drops here. Yes, he, he needs to, I think. Thank you all for tuning in. And look, not having oh. that observer here. Yeah. It ends up hurting him because Oya sees it and just drops them. Oh, Bates out of storm. There's there's That's so much good. value. There's so much value. And playing like this. This is really beautiful, by the way. But we still see no shuttle here from Dreamer. But I believe that Dreamer's uh, tempers here can can do a lot of hurt here. He can hurt Oyaji in a yeah. big fight when they clumped up. He can just uh, if use he, his five tempers and, and uh, if he gets to move them across the map, that is. Yeah. Because he if he sees them moving across the map. He'll try to snipe them with the Reavers, I think. But this is uh, maybe not oh, the best nice attack here from Oja because he's going up for the high ground here. But we see some units coming from the back as well. It's a nice flank with, with speed salads and yeah, they're missing true. in uh, in Reavers' composition. Oh, very, very good here. The sandwich play from Oyaji. Yeah, and the, the Reaver flank as well. And now we just have a GG. Yeah, and... Even if he holds off that main oh, army, he which he hold. isn't, he's just gonna GG. drop the Reeves in the main. Oyaji is a very good player, That what we know about it. <clears throat> he's a very good player. And now we have the the last uh, uh, one on one for the evening coming up soon here. It will be... It will be... Uh, Hawk. The, he's from United States, uh, right? Yeah. Don't we have a third uh, Oya, Oya game? No, didn't Oya win 2-0? Uh -huh. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. Uh, because there is a third game in the folder and... Yeah, it's always because... It's always a third in the pool. Okay. That's just because we shouldn't know uh, which are the winners. The casters. So we can't spoil anything. Makes sense. Yeah. So That's really cool. good play here from uh, Oyaji. And uh, let's get into the standings we see here. That IRK is in a 2-1 lead versus Ash Aether. Or just say Ash here. And uh, if uh, Okta, Oktsug, sorry not Okta, if Oktsug uh, wins versus Hawk, and I think he can be able to do it, uh, that will be... Uh, <coughs> That will be a nice uh, game here because then we will have the two and two to decide it all. But if IRK wins the next game, it will be all over. So right now, let's see if uh, the players can actually uh, the the Oxer can actually get in here and and do a lot of work. And what I would say more is that if you like Oxer, if you like him. He will be on a show match quite soon on, on this cast. Uh, and I will tell you more about that in the end of, of the cast. But uh, you can prepare for that. And now you will see him play an amazing game here maybe in the next. But uh, if you want to see that, hit the subscribe button below here. So you will see everything that happens in the chat and on the channel. <coughs> Okay, I'm getting in, but it takes a lot of time. It's like something is really weird. Whenever I try to get into the game, it's taking okay. a lot of time to get in there. Is something wrong with your down 
I no, it can't be a download because you have those replays. No, I have all the replays, but it's just taking forever to get in here. Okay, so we have in the top right corner on Eclipse, we have the IRK Hawk. And in the bottom right, we have, bottom left, sorry, we have the uh, the player Ash Oktsag. And I think that maybe this was uh, not the higher, uh, not the best TR. <laughs> oh, he doesn't know it's best of three here, Hawk. I think it's funny. Yeah, you should know what, what you go into when you play here. But I'm not sure I mean, I what TR it. they had because this is Europe versus uh, United States. So yeah. maybe they are at 14 or 16 or something. Yeah, but speaking of uh, United States, is it from the West Coast or the East Coast? I don't know. I know we have Oktsag in, in uh, the chat here. Maybe he can tell us what the latency was and stuff like that. Yeah, okay, yeah. STPL was just before this uh, Quark says, and maybe that was why they he was uh, confused. <laughs> I also play first STPL and then go straight into BBC. But maybe now you can play instead of me in uh, STPL, so I don't have to embarrass myself week after week. Scarves. Do you say? I say that maybe you could play STPL instead of me, so I don't have to embarrass myself week after week. Uh, but that, that's exactly what it feels like for me. It's the, the authentic, the normal STPL experience. Yeah. This was a 12 pool from uh, Hawk, and a 12 hatch actually for Oxag. And I think this uh, favoring Oxag. This is very good build. Uh, 12 hatch versus uh, 12 pool is very, very good for Oxag. Very, very good. Yes. But you see here, they are not uh, telling what they're doing because you see the timings of the overloads here. They both stop the second overload to not uh, share what they are doing because you can see on how far they got what uh, build they are doing. Oh, that's, that's actually crazy, yeah. Yeah, because you can see that if it comes uh, really early, you know what it is, and so on and so on. So that's why they are holding it back. So I really like that from both of them. They don't want to spoil it. And I think that's also why we see uh, the links not moving out here for Hawk, because if he have seen the second... Uh, if he doesn't see the second I mean he knows that there can be a 9 pool because then you delay the overload a bit to go for the 9 pool mm -hmm. yeah so when he didn't see an overload coming he, he didn't go for it but if he had seen the overload come across directly he, he would have uh, been sure that it was a, a 12 hatch or a, a 12 pool and then he could have moved out so it's very interesting how this uh, works and mm -hmm. now we actually see that uh, Oxerg is is really in a good position, but the speed will come faster for... No, it doesn't go for speed, so never mind. Oh, uh, uh, he uh, already has speed. So. Yeah, he already has it, yeah. So, and Oxerg is... Speed is uh, halfway done. Yeah, and speed is uh, very important for the engage here. Actually... Hawk is building a sunken, so he doesn't plan on okay, interesting. On making any more links. He wants to stay defensive. He's morphing it right away. Now he sees he has to get the hell out of here. Yeah, and maybe what can happen when you go for a that? more links pop out because he realizes, oh, he needs more. Yeah, and now you see four, four links are coming more here for Oxerg. Oxerg is really making a lot of circlings here. Yeah, to, but to he, he doesn't know about the sunken, so now he sees the sunken, and I guess he's gonna feel like, well, I, I'm not I sure this can was this a good idea. He yeah, he might. This. I mean, he made so many links, he might as well try and bust it. And you see that it's a very greedy hawk here. 
And now you see two links going around the army, but this is too greedy from Hawk, going up for 16, 17 rounds. I don't like this at all for Hawk, and I think he just straight up die here, actually. But mm, the yeah. two Zerglings coming around is very, very good. And I would is have he liked... Is he going to build an evil chamber here? Or is it a... Oh. Yeah, it's an evil chamber. Good oh, that's block. good. But he can good blocking. Go... I think he goes straight around. This is too much. Uh, I think he has to fight with the sunken though. Yeah. And I think he has to pull more more drones. Yeah, this is over. Yeah. And he doesn't attack with his two Zerglings as well. And that's really bad because you saw, see that he got two Zerglings out waiting in the middle of the map. What you want to do is hit. When he hits, you need to hit with them directly. So very good play here from Octzerg actually. And it's 1-0. Uh, it's yeah. I'm not sure what it's... Hulk was trying to do here in that game, actually. Yeah, that's that's a bit sad. You don't get to see the idea that the other player had often because ZVC comes down to one or two quick decisions yeah, usually. Yeah, true. And you and need it's... to be cons you need to like hit it straight away when you see it. Yeah. So yeah, that was a. Uh... That was a nice game for Oxo though. I, I see that we have some uh, viewers in the chat here. Please uh, feel free to follow so we can get up to the magic number of 200 followers today. We have only three more followers to do it. And we only have three more subscriptions to get up to five subscriptions. So feel free to subscribe and to follow, ladies and gentlemen. But three more followers. We get up to 200 and three more subscriptions. We get up to the magic number of five. So let's jump into it. Oh, Gangsta Ash, thank you for the follow. And right now we have um, what map was the? Oh, this is uh, Polypoid. Ah, uh, Polypoid, yeah. And what's really interesting, uh, what what I learned uh, recently is. When you sometimes when you play uh, Polypoint, you get into it and you think it's uh, on ladder, you think it's fighting spirits. So yes. how will you acknowledge that it's not? You see the little gap in the mineral line, here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then you know it's not fighting spirit because fighting spirit doesn't have a doesn't have a, a hole in in the mineral gap. So that's a really good thing to know that the small gap here. Then you know, oh, the small gap is polypoid. And without the gap, it's fighting spirits. So yeah, also the terrain is a little bit different. Especially yeah. if you're in the top right position, there is so much true, uh, true. so much grass. Yeah, but it's when when you are like in a hurry, for me, you see as a side player, I need to send the overlord uh, directly. Yes, that's and true. And then I all, always... Uh, send it the wrong way if I don't look at the, the small little gap in the mineral line. Yeah, that's that's true. Uh, I mean, if I if I'm Protoss, I don't I don't really know where to build my Sim City. It's also quite annoying because I have to place my pylon correctly, but uh, I can just click somewhere on the mini map, and the probe will usually pathfind to the ramp right away, and then you know, oh, okay, there's the ramp. So That's let's talk about the, let's talk about the builds here. Actually, well, this patch is, in, in game in base. Yeah, this is very interesting build though from Hawk. What Hawk is doing is that he made nine pool and then directly eight gas instead of making. If you go for nine pool speed, you make uh, a nine pool and then you make one extra drone and then you make uh, extractor and then you make overlord but what's he doing right now is he made uh, the the uh, pool he cut a drone then I think. yeah and cut a drone then extractor and what you get then is the fastest layer you can possibly get almost and and uh, then you will try to just use the circlings to hold the choke and get extremely fast um, layer I suppose yeah extremely and, and fast to, uh, spire and sometimes you can see players uh, even... Evil Chamber? Yeah, this um, is... 
Sorry, oh, this is this is weird. It's an evil chamber from Octzerg. Yeah, maybe it will be plus one uh, attack here. Yeah, plus one on on. Wow, side. I I don't know when 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 I've seen plus one attack on links the last time. Yeah, but that's that's an interesting build though. But but it doesn't work against what he's playing against. So yeah, it shouldn't be because you see that, that you see how fast this hits. Light. Already we see uh, spire. Spire coming down. Already. Yes. But I really don't like the placement of the Spire though, because what he wants to do is he wants to put the uh, the sunken up to to hug the hug the extractor, and what's happening right now mm -hmm. is that then he can go around and attack the Spire, but I don't think it will matter. I think he will. I mean, he could put a sunken above the Spire and that for for hack yeah, yeah, gap. Yeah. True. I guess I don't know. It's not a good sunken you... position, but that spire would yeah. be a lot safer. Yeah. But I mean, the spire here is pretty safe, anyways, because only two links or three links max can attack it. I know the quark that, that. Yeah, I know quark that there is a low link surface there. But what you can do is you can place the the spire under the pool instead and place the sunken between it. So I I like that better. Yeah, I, I, I think I might agree with you, but I'm not a CVZ player <laughs> at all. So yeah, true. And now uh, we if I play CVZ, I go Hydralisk, and I, I win not, against I, I think this yeah. is over, actually, the game. Um, well, at least he has but he doesn't an see chamber. Yeah, but he doesn't know when, when they will hit, when, when they will hit him. He needs uh, I to wonder why he doesn't also. attack uh, already. That, because I mean, he, had he has no so idea. Many links when he needs to attack. He yeah, but he have here. no idea that this is happening. I think those links will buy some time, though. He has so many links. Look at this. How many control groups I'm are that? Sure, One I'm control sure. groups, two, three, almost three control group groups of links. So he's, as soon as he knows, and he knows now, that Overlord is gonna die. Those mutilists are gonna move up. He's starting the sunken right away. And he's gonna counterattack now, and yeah. I think the three mutalists won't get a lot done against that sunken. Oh no no no! And, he's, now he sees it with the mutas. He's... I he should hide them. I think he he didn't know uh, that this was going to be the mutalist path. I Let's think he should have. Now the plus one take. hits right now. The plus one, and he will get in here with the plus one attack. Ah, uh, losing some for free though. This is. This is good. Now the plus one is yeah, here. I think he, I oh, think he's, he's good, in. moving in. Okay. Uh, I'm not so sure if I like this. I, I think this was a panic reaction. Yeah. Okay. I wait, think wait. He... You can just keep on talking. Hello, Maria. I think this was a panic reaction in a way. I think. If he coordinated his attack a little bit better, went around the mutilist path, I think Octzerg would be winning this. I, I, well, he's going to keep streaming across the map, and those mutilists will have to keep on defending. Okay, I'm back. So, Sorry, my wife just came in to say goodnight. Seven mutilists, so. This should be over now because there is no way that. Octor can catch up in gas. There is simply no way. No, but now maybe drones will fall again. Okay, but yeah, it's the only saving grace that that Hawk can't stream across the map. Slight drone lead for Octor, but that's about everything he's got. Yeah, but Octor, I'm not sure what he will try to do here. Will he try to? get into Hydra, so what will Oxo do after this? Uh, I think he should uh, attack into Hive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it sounds ridiculous if I say it, but I... Yeah, but I mean, you know what you say. Catch up on You're just not gonna catch up. But he's still up. He's 16, 18 in drones, so he can't get up in gas, but actually it's very hard for for Hawk to um, to get a lot of mutas out here. And now we see he more. He has already seven. It's like if he if he built a a sunken in his natural, 
if you have that money and it's hell of a lot expensive that sunken i'm not I sure what the plan Ark is here from could our be aggressive yeah i'm not sure what the next plan is here from octasag actually what will he get into i think he needs to go into into uh hive <laughs> yeah yeah and yeah let's... Sort of like uh i don't see what else he would be able to do but look at that gas by the way in in Octurk's natural, it can be hit from above. It's almost impossible to defend that gas from the Mutalisks. If Hawk wants to deny that gas, he'll 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 get it. All the all the uh, gas actually on Polypoid is heading towards the main just because uh, in two on two and stuff like that. Because this is a four player map, you should not be able to to mine gas like. Uh, uh, to to mine gas from from uh, the main and have an advantage in some position but not others. Mm -hmm. Just a fun fact about the map. Okay, that's that's interesting. Yeah. You know, I talk to a map maker uh, a lot about a lot of maps and stuff. And are you talking to Freakling? Uh, I'm not sure what the name was actually. That would be interesting. Because I, I know Freakling is quite quite a bit active on Team Liquid. Yeah, I'm not sure it was it was on the Team Quick channel on Discord, Team Quicks or something. The the one the channel that do a lot of show matches. Okay, let's see here what's happening. You see the sun coming here from Hawk, and you also see that he is trying to to mine a lot of uh, gas here, Octag. To, yeah, to get he into ha actually has some advantage in. Uh, yeah, but he will not get up. You see here, if you click on the extractor, you see that he mined one thousand eight hundred there and uh, almost uh, fifty, so one thousand eight hundred, yeah, something like that. And then we click here, and we can see that he is only mining three hundred there and thousand there, so he's up almost 600 in gas here hawk yeah and that's still that's, that's still a case after uh yeah. Octark has been catching up because he's been mining from that second geyser yeah so that's he's still down Hawk's 600 in gas yeah but that's one thing cool. that's really good for Octark is that when you have the spores that's so you 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 can be a bit safe against the uh, the harass and, and he will be more free with his uh, mutas when they get out he can just move move around the map and, and try I, to aren't you just gonna go into two carapace upgrades as hawk and because yeah he already is soon he... on plus one yes exactly so i think going for a plus two armor really pays off here yeah especially if if Hawk himself, uh, 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 Arctur himself upgrades uh, armor. Yeah. But I would, I, I really like what you said before that Arctur could go into uh, to a quick uh, hive here, actually. I now think we it's see, the only way. Yeah, now we see plus one uh, uh, carapace here for, for Hawk, actually. It will be very, very fun to see Octzerg versus Redley in the show match. Ah, uh, yeah, and, and I call it. It's going to be two carapace. Yeah, that's good. Very good micro from both of these players, but I don't like what Octzerg did there to go s straight out too much. Well, he's kind of picking a bad fight, I think. Yeah, because it's plus one carapace here from. Uh, exactly. And we see Oxerg is also going for plus one carapace. But one very scary thing for for Hawk right now is that he can just move up with links whenever a big attack comes. But right now this is so scary because if he attacks the main, it's. Yeah, but he's making oh, one extra. He, he sees it. He sees it. Oh no! Yeah, he saw it. 
Yeah, and he's trying to catch them. And I think he will be in time. He's... Oh, he goes oh, back. Oh, Dr. realizes that he has been spotted and... But now he, he still moves out with a lot of Zerglings. That's good. Yeah, but he has two Sunkins in the third hatch that's blocking. Yeah. So there are, the Zerglings won't do anything. But if he were to move in now into the main, snipe a couple of drones and then get out, while the Mutilis is uh, busy dealing with the Zerglings in the natural... And now he's trying to take a third? Trying yeah. to take a third at the same time? It's a bit sneaky. I don't think it's going to get up. Uh, Hawk is going for Burrow. That's a very interesting upgrade. We almost never see that. But it's it makes sense. He doesn't have any defense, and he could lose all of his economy due to a weird and random mutilisk attack. So I, I really like it. This is a very interesting Zerg versus Zerg, I must say. Yeah. Hawk is also trying to expand. Yeah. Very good. Let's hope we will have defilers. It would be nice to have defilers, but I think uh, Hawk is going to close this out with a uh, to carapace timing. Yeah, I think so as well. But it's very, very hard to if you attack into to the Zerg. Oh, oh no, yeah, no, 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 no! The moving shot here, and he and he is not fighting. Yeah, I mean, he realizes. But look at this. Now he's getting. killing so many drones. Oh, but then we have the borrow that you talked about. So, yeah. so good. And now Came in handy, losing. and he didn't anticipate it. And, yeah. and now he's and losing now all the new is there. Getting, getting, getting. Uh, well, he's not even moving it away. I think no, he's realizing. No, because he knows realizing. that if he moves it away, he yeah. will still die. But, yeah. he have a, but he have the fur now, and now he's trying to. To sunk, sunk in sunk it, spore it up, yeah. a spore is maybe a sunken as well, but I'm not sure about that. He's moving out with more, <laughs> more circlings to try to deny the third for Hawk, and he's uh, actually doing it just with the press presence of the circlings. Oh shit! This is a tense game though. It's yeah, so... Hawk. Yeah. Now Hawk, oh, Hawk is going for the ensnare, I think, because he's not upgrading the hive. Yeah. So ensnare, ensnare will slow good... down mutilisk attack, I think. No, no, the mutilisk also... attack doesn't change. The only thing that changes is the movement for the mutilisk. Only, speed. only the movement speed. Yep. Really? Yeah. Okay. Because I thought it also slowed down their attack. No, then it would be used in like all the the CVCs. Okay, but I, I think still think it's going to win the game because they will not yeah. be able to get away, and, and he needs to add more. He carapace. needs to add more uh, spores, actually. Yeah, I mean he has four per base. Yeah, but that's not enough. Look at the two carapace will just sweep this. Oh, and he's just yeah. And you see the attack movement doesn't change at all. You see that? Yeah, I guess I see it. Doesn't really, it really doesn't change. But he this needs to get up to the fight. scores. Oh, but this is over anyway. Yeah, it's, it's over much. anyways. I mean, he has been fighting. I think so anyway. I think it's too over. much, right? Yeah, it's way too yeah, much. Yeah, it's no, way too much. And now the circling is coming in as well. <laughs> With no speed, this looks so funny. He can't survive this. No, no, there's no, no chance. Damn, those spores are tanky. Yeah, really, yeah, really very tanky. tanky. But the plus two carapace is so strong. Yeah, actually, he has one one now, but yeah, but uh, plus GG. two carapace is better oh, than that uh, was a one one upgrade. Yeah, that was a. Good fight, though. Very, very interesting game. I, I enjoyed that. Same here. Okay, so that was uh, a lot closer than maybe I thought it should be after the opening there. 
Yeah, I, I really think that uh, Octzer could have won that if he had coordinated his Ling attack a little bit better, a little Oof. bit more patiently. Uh, that also means dodging the the Mutalisk, uh at attack routes. Yeah. Oh, so uh, there's a lot going on here. Oh, thank you, No Cooking Master. Thank you for appreciating the stream. Feel free to subscribe or, or follow or donate if you want to. But thanks a lot for, and we appreciate it. <coughs> oh, fighting spirits. What? Yes. Is that actually on the map pool? No. I have no idea. That's not in the map pool on the BBCL map pool. I'm quite sure about that. Well, thing. nobody is apparent apparently. Yeah, maybe they're just not complaining and then it's okay, but that's not in the map pool. Fisheye, what do you say about this? Are you in the chat, Fisheye? Oh, yeah, I don't like that. I'll be right back. Yeah, no problem. Okay, so in the top right corner we have IRK Hawk, and in the top, uh, and in the bottom right corner we have uh, Octzag. <clears throat> and this is um, the final game in this series. And if uh, Hawk wins, IRK wins the 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 whole CV. Okay, thank you for that, Fisheye. And uh, if uh, Octa wins. We the the decider will be the two and two. So I have a little. I, I really hope a little bit more for uh, Octa just because of um, because of uh, how the game will be if he wins. <clears throat> then the two and two is a bit more fun. <clears throat> okay, so we have the. Uh, over gas here that's a quite common thing and if you hit the timing correctly you will have uh, six mutas before <clears throat> before uh, the other sag will, will have their own uh, mutas is, is over gas the quickest yeah. no uh, no that's not the quickest the quickest is what it did before uh, okay, it's... but over gas is it's like a, you hit a timing where you get six uh, mutas. Mm -hmm. But I, I still like the Octzerg position because he will scout it, so he will nose it, and it's not he can't punish him with it. His uh, twelve hatch, so I think that the the big lead here is uh, actually for Octzerg. And uh, Fish, I said that they can play whatever map they want to if they agree. Oh, that's an interesting rule, Fish. I thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> what do you mean, lucky noob? <laughs> Okay, so we Sorry, see... it's popping, streaming across the map. Yeah, I don't think it will work though. Maybe. Mm, it should not. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Well, five, they're six, not synced up, you know. Eight. No. So eight is coming. Until they're all synced up. It's... Oh no 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 no! Don't you see that? That's a big mistake. He's making a drone instead of of links in in his net. Why? Uh I guess he's getting greedy. Oh, but too greedy. Okay, now he will pull the the drones as well. I guess Let's... he should just make a sunken. And we see no. Oh, uh, speed is I'm... done for for Hawk. Yeah, this is scary. <clears throat> Damn, this is scary. Yeah, very uh, I, good engaged. Uh, yeah, very good engaged for Octo Sir. Okay, but he should be very afraid because his speed is all. All only half done, and what uh, Hawk really wants to do is uh, try to to get in here with some Sergnes in the base for for Oxog, and that will be so big of a problem for him if he if he gets in. Okay. Why is he not making links? Was he supply blocked? 
yeah. But I'm not sure why he took oh, the this hatch is gonna away. Come down. He needs the drones here. Yeah, he, he's oh, not no, pulling. Oh, no, 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 no. Did you see oh. that arc here? But maybe he did it on purpose to save the hatchery. Uh, it's not gonna work out. Is it? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Think... Because he, he will have too much. Uh, why is he not gonna... Why is he not killing that hatch hatchery? He waited I'm for confused. he waited for more zerglings to come. If you look at the zerglings, they are very damaged. You see that? Mhm. Mm so he wanted but to have the reinforcements before. I guess it makes yeah, sense. Yeah, you see how fast they died here. I think you should have just right clicked at some point. <laughs> yeah, but then he could just stream before. across the map and and kill him. But right now we need to see an evolution chamber. Uh, by the way, he's been cutting gas mining. Hawk is, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's been only mining with two drones. Yeah. Oh, Ox I think Oxer wins enough. this. Oh, yeah. it is enough. It is enough. It Look is it. enough. And the sunken is not there yet. Oh, yeah, but now it's there. You're right, Quark. Oh, and nice drone drone movements. And now we wow. see... Hasn't now lost we a drone see yet. Hasn't lost a drone yet. No, but this is not the the reason why he attacks. He attacks because he can't go across the map. And then he doesn't need to make Oh, uh, he needs to pull more drones. Ah, now one goes down. Sec second gonna go down. Oh, yes, yeah, second, second down. goes down. down. Third will go down. Oxo will win this. Third, third drone is down. Yeah. And now we see Scourge coming as well. Two sets of them. Let's see how good the micro is from Hawk. I think it will be alright. Oh, one connects. Let's see that one. Okay, oh. and Hawk finally has a gas advantage. Yeah, but he's on because, one so, so One yeah, more so, connection. He's not mining from the second uh, natural gas. No, one more yeah. connected. Let's see here if he can connect with more Scourge. Oh, kills one. Okay, finally they paid a little bit off. But I think this is not so bad for for Hawk. I mean, the drone count though is abysmal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drone count he needs, is really you know, he needs five drones uh, to, to get... If you have five drones, you can... Uh, Put uh, how like eight drones, sorry, eight drones, three on gas and five on minerals. Then you can make all out uh, muters. So five drones for every gas to have uh, non-stop this, muter production. I think he's gonna hit that all in timing because he knows he has to make a move against the. Yeah, a but uh, it, it, I don't think it will work. Well, it's six muter lists against five. Yeah. If he doesn't pay attention. But now there is six. Five against five. Oh, let's see here. Oh yeah, Ox service ahead. And nice. then we have the GG. Oh, nice, shit. what a clutch, what a clutch victory. Yeah, that nice. was... Oxerg actually impresses me though. But I Very think... Very good. I think Hawk might have still... had some chance at least because... No, 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 because he didn't have any drones at home. After yeah, but that, he killed after one that, guys and two were and two were popping. Yeah, but after three, three what, what, were no, popping. no, you're wrong. After that, what would have happened would have been that uh, after that, no one would have have uh, uh, almost any mutas, but the probe was, uh, drone count was too low for for him. There, so Hawk was was dead there. It's so small of. You you can ah, use okay. like yeah, okay. you can use. Okay, it was uh, it was Hawk that GG'd. Okay. Yeah, 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 Hawk. All right. Yeah. Because oh. they didn't see the GG, and they thought, okay. Yeah. Then I oh, then I realized, yeah, it was Hawk that GG. Okay. Right. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I then I understand what what you thought it was bad. Yeah, he would have won easily. Yeah, yeah, because Ox search. Yeah, you. I think. Then I understand what. Would have. Okay. Okay, so what we see right now is that we have a, a very, very close uh, clan war here, actually. 
and uh, it's been nice to see it and uh, what happened last there was that Hawk um, played very well but Octoserg really interesting uh, CVC styles there and uh, very greedy play he he, he made um, two times he made 12 hatch so very interesting if you uh, if we win to to the score sheets here we can see there's two two oh Riddler hi there <laughs> please feel to follow if you if you not already do it so what we have here is uh, two two actually but IRK versus Ash and it will be the decider and that will be uh, the two on two actually and <clears throat> the two on two teams uh, is uh, let's see here what the two on two team is. I think uh, it was Marvin, but it was not uh, Medinho. It used to be Medinho. Um, it is Marvin and Hawk against Prochiobi and, and Rancor. Okay, I have no idea who the Ash players are actually. Uh, well, we have seen Rancor <laughs> before in a two v two, I think. Not sure. Yeah, sorry there, Riddler. <laughs> okay, let's uh, jump into the game. So, uh, let's see here. We will... Oh, they... What? They didn't go for top versus bottom. Oh, this... You uh, need to give them a the penalty fish are... eye. Yeah, but still but the they... colors are still okay. Yeah, I mean, but I still doesn't. It's off white and and the white against a. The pink and off white versus the magenta and red. No, no, no! It's. What? Uh, red that... so It's it's left versus right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lucky noob, you say, <laughs> spank him. Who do you want to spank? <clears throat> okay, so we have yeah, I think we there have are a couple uh, people in need a spanking. <laughs> I'm not sure. They are not children, so it's fine. But who do you want to spank? <laughs> 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 I love Lucky Noob. He's the funniest dude in chat. Yeah, he's quite funny. <laughs> yeah, I never know what. Oh, not to. Oh, yeah. Now I see. Yeah, because they didn't do top versus bottom. Yeah, fish. I need to spank that. Okay, so Hawk is going for. Uh, over pool into extremely quick gas. This is a weird build. Uh, is it? Uh, yeah. Can't you do something like this? I don't I mean, know. I don't. I, I play this sometimes. What? I play this sometimes. I think. Over you go for gas. over pool and then directly into gas. Yeah, sometimes. Okay, yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Speed. I mean. Yeah. And we see. Uh, we see two barracks here from Marvin. And I've seen Marvin actually do this and he's so good at uh, doing the the MM style so I actually like what, uh, to see that because I've seen him go for like killing tempers and stuff and just dodging the storms all over. Interesting. <clears throat> I I never have any idea what I should play as Terran in a two v two when there's a Protoss in the Zerg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it's, that's it's usually so what's weird. yeah. That's usually a problem for for the Terran. They go yeah, for either they go voice. for vultures into Goliaths or something, mm -hmm. or else they go for for the Marine Medic build. And the Marine Medic's build all almost always puts you on a timing because you need to make damage. <clears throat> Yeah, because well, it's storm, so we'll hard when bio. yeah, because it's so hard when tech comes up for for mm. the Protoss. Yes, <clears throat> I mean, ideally, your Zerg should be able to help you out with the Protoss, I guess. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so we have a lot of Zerglings just <laughs> going around the map here. Um, I think this <clears throat> is going to end very quickly, isn't it? Oh no, never mind. They got the colors wrong. Oh yeah. What we I see here is that Hawk is doing uh, very fast Spire, but it's not that fast. So Rancor 
uh, will also have his spire almost at the same timing. And the gas mining is uh, a bit better for uh, Ranko, but he used uh, a little bit more to get uh, speed uh, uh, links. Isn't that right? Yeah. So he will have speed. <coughs> Okay, so those links are going to find out that there are marine medics. Yeah, I'm not sure no, what, no, he's what not they're trying up. to do. Yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, he's rushing Spire on one gas. Yeah. I always kind of feel like that it's a bit weird. <clears throat> yeah, now we see marine medics moving out. I guess um, they're if they go to the Zerg... Three sunkens. Is, yeah, that won't. So either this works out, or they die here. I think this is all in. And the problem is not. And I don't think they they. This is not see, the. They didn't see the third sunken, and this is over. Yeah, but this is not the problem. The problem is what happening with um, the marine medics going across the map. Uh, it wouldn't be a problem if they would actually kill Hawk because then it they would one trade one player yeah. for one player and would be a one v one. And that would actually be not that bad because it's a Protoss yeah, but against Marine this. Medic. So, oh, but, it, look at but this trade doesn't work out, and the Marine and Medics will clean up the Zerg. Yeah. And I think that will be a GG for that reason. Oh, it just it just loses everything here. This is uh, yeah, yeah. This is a GG. But it didn't have enough Mutalisks to micro against uh, the middle east anyway so yeah and he didn't wait for the reinforcements five. or anything yes and he he have zero uh, drones but he have 15 minerals so but this is over and now we see mute is coming across the map i think the mute can just go into the protoss base and kill him here even getting the middle east yeah. yeah, now the Mutalisk will clean up the Dragoons. Dragoons are so bad against, uh, <laughs> against, against Mutalisks. It's actually pretty sad. They only deal 10 damage, so Dragoon needs to hit 10 shots on a Mutalisk to kill it. No, uh, uh, I mean 13, sorry. Is that right? Yeah, 13 shots. Will one Dragoon win against one Muta? Uh, I think so, yes. So one Dragoon will win against one Muta then? Yes. Okay. Okay, this is over. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, he doesn't even have money. He's just staying in the game to to force... Uh, I don't know why they are staying in him. the game though. Yeah, yeah no, this is <clears throat> That style of play is not uh, the best style. To the mass goon style can be good, but you need to to always have something outside the turn because when the turn moves out, it's so so hard, and you need mm. to be aware of that. <clears throat> yeah, I guess the the goons need to kite the marine medics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so you need to you need to focus to see what happens, and to poke in. And they did had no clue that what well, I felt that anyway. They had no clue uh, what was going on in the game. Yeah, well, they didn't get scouting done. <clears throat> I think they didn't really scout the marine medics either. No, they didn't know what Sir was doing. They didn't know what uh, Terran was doing. So, okay, Shakura Temple is the next uh, map. So let's see here if uh, Team Ash can uh, come back here and. <coughs> Well. I've never seen a 2v2 on on Shakur's temple, so I'm quite eager to see how this is gonna play out. Okay, so now in the top we have um, we have Ash, and in the bottom <coughs> we have we have uh, Terran. No, sorry, we have IRK. 
Okay, yeah. let's see here. Top we the have dash, bottom IRK. And look at this now. Uh, this there is uh, yeah, there's the same races. Sorry. So we have Hawk in as a suck, and we have Marvin as a Terran. And let's see what the Sir will do. Will they both go for nine pool, or will they try something else here? <clears throat> what you can do when you see Marine Medics is you can uh, you can can on uh, the Sir, and you can can uh -oh. on yourself and try to to go for <clears throat> try to go for fast tech. Such a weird thing to cannon. Put a cannon on the ramp of your allied player in 2v2. I can't really wrap my head around it. <laughs> Why not? It seems too abstract, you know? Yeah. I think it's quite alright, though. Okay, we can see that uh, the Ash Zerg is doing the same build, even the Hawk is doing the same build. And let's see what uh, Marvin will do. Will he. Go for Marine Medics again, no. Mm, yes, he will. So it's, uh, yeah, the same build for all of them, actually. So this is going to be very interesting then because it's up to Ash to figure something out. Yeah. Figure out what else they can do, how they can not die with the same builds and the same openings. Yeah. Is the wall from uh, Marvin uh, link tight, you think? It should be. Because uh, Ply yeah, Depot looks... is on top of the racks. Yeah, it looks like it. Yes, it should be. Because I would be very, to... very much surprised if links could. <clears throat> Ran past that. Yeah, he needed to lift it to get the marine in and out. So I think, yeah. Uh, I think he lifted it for for the SUV though. Oh yeah, sorry. Okay. No Let's see here what they are doing. Not not much is happening there on the game here. Actually, they're just moving around. I always think that they uh, when when you have the uh, Protoss and Serg on the same team no matter what you should always try to push a bit on the Serg player both to scout him but also to make him make sunkens yeah that's always a good idea yeah and then you don't Thanks. have to engage if you don't want to but you need to to push I, I, I almost feel like they are going to do the same thing yes and they might lose the same way because it is basically exactly the same build. Yeah, but now we have five sealots coming. And one more difference is the rush distance this time for the Terran is a, a lot bigger <clears throat> on this map. <clears throat> yeah, but is it enough? I'm not sure. <clears throat> yeah, I'm also afraid because that they, they cannot be... even attack the Terran because he's a link tied wall. So they. Almost have to attack the Zerg if they want to attack. Yeah, yeah. And but what what I mean is that if you somehow. if you just go and push the Zerg a bit, you don't have to kill him. You don't. You just have to say they're... we are here. Now we see. This is the difference, though. Now we see Marvin walking out, but we ah. also see. Are they engaging now? Yep. No, they oh, aren't. they are going too, too late. Too, too late. Indecisive. Yeah. And but this I is think they still... wasted a big opportunity. Yeah. Okay, uh... but still a, a big difference though. And now we see Mutas coming out of uh, Hawk, and we will see Mutas coming out of uh, the Ashjag as well, almost at the same time. So this is very even. And now Marvin is uh, going out again, but. They don't have scout on him. This is really bad. Why don't they scout him? Well, if they knew about this 
move out, I think they could just Yeah, they could just it. attack it, but well, they don't. Because but then they... again, this is a full wall. He can always repair it with SUVs. Yeah, but he could go in there with the goons. But now the, he will die here because... Okay, now they're trying to yeah. save it. Oh! He good kills on one overlord. overlord. That's, that's good. Very but painful. it made time for him to come back. There's all there's no Sarg or any no sunken or anything here in the base. And he is attacking with this is the, still crushing. Yeah, but the problem is that he kills it, but directly after this we could see Mutus coming across the map here if he wants to and attack this. Very, very bad here for Ranko, losing all those Mutus. Mm -hmm. Yes. And now we see uh, now Arman. we see Hawk going in into the base of Pro Shobo and there is nothing in there. Three goons trying to damage the Mutus a bit. I don't think he needs to go back there. He could go fly around and, and snipe more. They are focusing on uh, Terran instead of focusing on Zerg, because if they focus on Zerg, Zerg can't move across the map with, with the Mutas. This is nice though. Yeah, good engagement and one Muta fall. But now they need to, to pressure him. I think he's just gonna get some probe kills. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, picking up some dragoons with troubles. Yeah, you could kill the dragoon nice. if he wants to as well. And, and now, oh, that's that's actually quite beautiful. He sniffs out that he needs to go home to defend. Yeah. Oh, why is the Zerg leaving? No. Now they need to attack here, full out. And it will take so long time here for Marvin to get out. Very good. Kills. Yeah, this has to work, by the way. This has to work. Yeah. Oh, he's sniping Muta after Muta. Very nice Very play. Very good here. Okay, he might lose that hatchery, but I think it's not going to be enough because the Marine Medic is, is on the way. And yeah, but he could hold the show. He's going to be crushed. He's he evacuating the drones. That's good. Now he's engaging. But now he needs to hold the show. Not like that, not like that. Oh, he's just letting him upstairs. There's nothing he can do. It's bio against the Dragoon Force and the the, 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 the Mutalists are also very strong against Dragoons. And he, he saved a lot of, of uh, drones. Eight drones is still left here. And yes, the I think big this problem is, is that he's on okay. 16 probes. Yes, was this 29 SUVs? Yeah. <laughs> Why is he Hawk, chasing those scourges though? Yeah, Hawk wants him to Just stay. Kill him. And he's like, I'm not going to stay. <clears throat> Make sentence. <laughs> They are afraid. I think they are in a huge lead here, actually. They are in a huge lead, but they don't want to die either. And they don't. But I, know, but I don't think they know that they are danger. in this huge lead. I think they know because that Zerg doesn't have anything. The Zerg has two mutalisks, okay, four and four scourges, so there's no danger. I wonder why he isn't going into that Protoss main and just... He doesn't know. I guess, I guess so. Now we see... Uh... Yeah, and this is going to be the final fight. Yeah, Marvin is too good. This is Marvin win both games, I believe. He's so good of a 2-on-2 uh, two -two player, Marvin. Yeah, I think he, he specializes in 2v2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he and Medinio are the 2 and 2 players partner. for IRK, I believe. Yes. Now we see GG. GG. 
And, and the Protoss is still. Wins. The Protoss doesn't leave. The... I mean, sorry, RK wins. Yeah, let's see here. Now we have DTs streaming across the map. You left the game, right? Yes, I left the game. Yeah, no problem. I will just catch this. I think it's over. And there we see the first DT going down. And now we'll see the first DT. Oh, oh my God! They didn't GG yet. No. no. Oh my God! I thought. I thought. Yeah, of course you thought. <laughs> now they did. <GG'd. laughs> Okay, let's uh, take a 30 second break and then I will talk a bit to you guys. Please stay tuned. I really thought that they had to do at that moment. Yeah, no problem. Now they did. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a very professional casting here, by the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ertos is just leaving the game before it's over. Yeah, well, but he, was doesn't, he doesn't. He doesn't have to to make anything by cost uh, by uh, replays and stuff like that. Yeah, he's not an observer. No. Which makes sense, to be honest. Yeah, I hate to observe. I, I would love to have a professional observer with me. Actually. Yeah, makes it really. It's so much easier. Yes, I agree. Okay, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, now, I uh, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> right there. Uh, uh, Quark one versus body two one, uh, two failed rushes from body. Okay, so let's confirm what we've seen here today. We've seen the two and two on top, and I just thought they were superior. Uh, Marvin played amazing, and Hawk and Marvin was just the better players to pro con and. Show or something, and uh, Dewalt just uh, one versus hit him up. Uh, really, really good games from Dewalt. In the first game, he won quite easy, and in the second game, he made a. Uh, it was actually a PVC because hit him up uh, changed race, and uh, Dewalt just uh, made Reva Corsair and just uh, harassed the hell out of him. And then we have Vadi versus Quark, and in the first game, um, it was a, a 12 Nexus, so Vadi tried to go across the map and, and uh, try to kill him. And in the and in the next game, uh, and he did he failed because Quark hold it. And in the next game, it was uh, Vadi just played an amazing game and and. Uh, got a vulture run by and killed a lot of uh, probes and stuff so he played very good in that game buddy more of a standard game and Quark lost his uh, cybernetics no his uh, robotics uh, so he had very late observers and then we had uh, the last game that Quark did the the 12 nexus again and the 12 gate behind that just a little bit of a cheesy build to to try to um, lower him into rushing and he did and then we have OIG versus Dreamer and Dreamer did two games in a row uh, free gate goon and tried to really put the pressure on but the highlight I must say the highlight series uh, for me on the highlight game was the second game uh, Hawk versus Octoserg it was uh, very nice the first game was uh, a Ling all in from Octoserg and the second game was uh, uh, Oxer made this uh, plus one attack and, and tried to engage it was a really really good game uh, and in the last game it was uh, just a straight up win from Oxer. he played very well so um, we have 3-2 um, in this series very nice win for IRK it could have been uh, different but I just think the 2-on-2 two -two team from Ash was maybe a, a tad too weak for, for this uh, type of games and right now what I wanted to say to you all before we leave the cast for today is thank you all for watching uh, please 
uh, follow me if you haven't uh, because two more and I will have 200 that will make me very glad uh, also uh, if you want to support this stream on any any way because you've seen my schedule down here I will cast a BBCL every uh, Thursday and I will try to cast uh, maybe more BBCL but uh, it would really help if, if you could subscribe or donate to, to make that happen because my wife will be a lot happier if I uh, uh, just don't waste all of our evenings doing this but if we will gain anything to it maybe that will help a lot and the next thing the main thing that I wanted to say is that we will have in a couple of weeks uh, we will have in the 30th of January the January the 30th we will have a show match and the show match will be at uh, uh, 20.00 set on the evening and it will be Oxerg versus Ash Redley so Oxerg versus Redley so please get into that it will be a best of nine as we had the last show match that I did and the price pool will be $24 tw sorry $25 and uh, for every map you win you will get uh, $2 and if you win the whole uh, uh, show match, you will have uh, additional uh, uh, additional seven dollars. So it's a twenty-five dollar show match. And as you can see right now, uh, in here above my head, sorry, above uh, there, we have forty-six dollars, and twenty-five of those has already gone for the last show match. So if you want to see more show matches you need to to uh, help me with that because i can't uh, spend my money on uh, prize pools on show matches and we have more show matches coming up actually but uh, i really need some donations to to be able to to have that going and i want to do it like once a month or maybe two times a month it depends a bit on uh, yeah one of the factories actually the the donations there so please please help me and the last thing I wanted to say is that we also have uh, <clears throat> <laughs> yeah we need a more dramatic slogan save the marriage donate now yeah of course you can donate but I don't need want to be too pushy there like a noob uh, I, I <laughs> yeah of course I think it would be a lot it would be very funny if, if that was your slogan yeah yeah <laughs> save my marriage donate money yeah, yeah. Donate now. Save the marriage. Donate now is what Lucky New wants me to say. Yeah, do that if you want to save my marriage then. And if you want my kids to get Christmas presents next year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but w actually what I will use the money for right now is uh, for the show matches. So if you want to save the show matches, please donate. And one more thing. If you go and become a Patreon of mine, you will and uh, don't uh, give me more than five dollars a month you will also you will have the all the replays for the show matches as a gift from me so if you become a patreon and uh, do that please feel free and right now i will just say thank you for this day it was a short stream not as the last time we we casted bbcl it took a lot longer so the what, games were a bit shorter yeah, this due was to there lot being a lot of CVZs and rather short two v twos. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, the two two v twos was uh, quite uh, fast, and and Vody versus Quark was three fast games. The Walt versus Hit 'Em Up, fast games. Oya G versus yeah. Dreamer, fast games. The longest game I think was the CVC today. That's actually so funny. <laughs> Who would have thought that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't have passed my money on it. No, I played a, I played a CVC on the, the stream uh, like some weeks ago, uh, fifty minute uh, CVC. Oh, nice hive! Oh. Yeah, yeah. The hive CVC is what you actually did want. You go, to... did you go for plague? No, I yeah, I'd, I played and uh, uh, I thought that was how I won the game in in the end. How does it feel? How does it feel like to play a, a mutal comp? Oh, I love that. That's the best thing. <laughs> That's <laughs> almost as satisfying as playing uh, the marine medics. <laughs> but 
what's what's better with uh, uh, doing plague on the marine medics is that the marine the medics just heals them uh, for all eternity until the, the energy is gone, and I love that. I think uh, you can patrol them. Yeah, you can. But a lot of so much is going on when you are at a high mood, so a lot of people misses that, and they just try to to heal them up. Yep. Okay. Yeah. But uh, thanks a lot for the stream today, then, and uh, uh, thank you to Scarves for doing this. And yeah, we will not get up to two hundred followers today. I really wanted that, but uh, it looks like we are not getting up to that speed two uh, more speed. followers we need yeah all right everybody i'm gonna gonna say goodbye now yeah thanks for having me here and until next